What is up, my BB family? Hope everyone having a wonderful day today. It's another beautiful day here in Northern California. Guys, I'm still super bullish on this project. I know we're dipping a little bit, but uh, we're still not near as low as we were. So we're still looking really good, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Woody from yesterday is having a nice little bump up. Uh, I did buy in two. I bought two of them yesterday in the 220s uh, after I got off stream. Ended up flipping them at 320. Uh, I'm probably going to try to get back in like around the 280s or something like that. So just just took a little gems off the, a few gems off the top. I'll, I'll buy back into them eventually. So that was good to see. Um, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know how how bullish I am on this community. If you guys haven't seen the wall of Fastos, it's been crazy. Um, it was kind of just my way of trying to promote some content creators. And we ended up having like, I don't know, a hundred people jump on that. So if you guys want to go follow everybody in the app or have people follow you, go find Fastos uh, for 9.9 million and go follow all those people and they'll follow you back. Also, if you, um, if you do list one, make sure that your account is listed as public so we can all go follow you. That's the whole point. And uh, it's a lot of fun guys. We, uh, it's getting a lot of promotion on um, on Twitter. So if you guys want to go share that too, see how many people we can get on there. It's kind of that's kind of what it's turned into. So it's really been a lot of fun. Um, also, man, just just want to let you guys know. Uh, I talk to content creators all day, every day. We got some genuinely great people in this community. I mean, I know you. I know whatever you talk to, you know, you see people online. You don't know if they really are who they claim to be. We just got some great content creators, guys. So go support all the content creators you see down below. Um, I also, uh, I watched a Sleep in Comics video today. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It's great. It's about uh, his, he kind of revisited the MCP um, program. And it kind of had me thinking, and you guys know, I, you know, my thoughts on MCP, I'm sure everyone who's in here, but um, there was one thing about it that I really like, and it is going to make me start kind of looking at MCP a little bit differently. Uh, I still think it's, it's put there to make you buy the things that are least valuable. I really do believe that. I still believe that. Um, I don't believe it's going to help you get have any real better chance. I mean, I think it's going to improve your chances by like half a percent to get a collectible, you know, whenever the drop system happens. But I may be wrong. But the thing that I really like about it is it does say the ability to um, to rent. And that's something I really want to pursue in the future is the ability to rent. So um, right now I'm getting about 325 points a day, uh, MCP points. And of course, they keep accumulating. So I'm just curious, uh, what, what are you guys getting for, as far as points a day? What's the most you've seen? Um, and I'm just, I'm just kind of curious where everybody stands. So that's going to kind of be my next thing. I'm probably going to run some polls on Twitter just to see if anybody, if people know how many points they're going to be receiving, all that stuff. I'm, I'm just just curious. I have no idea where I rank as far as everybody else goes. I don't have, have any idea how many people are um, how many people are going to be um, you know participating like on a on a larger level i don't know if 300 a day is big or not big i have no clue <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just kind of curious where everybody stands it's a great video too guys go, go check that out go check out sleeping comics he's got a, a you know it's, it's a really cool video it just made me start really rethinking it a little bit um i'm still not going to collect for it but i do you know i am i do have quite, i do accumulate points with what i have so i do have some sets so anyway, I just thought that was really interesting. Uh, guys, we do have a new version of um, a Coma Wiki. Let me pull it up here so you guys can see it. Uh, he just It just went live yesterday. It's kind of cool, but I am. it's going to take some getting used to, so we're all going to have to kind of get used to it together. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, as you can see, my account is down about uh, about six, five, 6,000 since yesterday's live stream to 193. I think we're 198, 199 when we went off, off the stream yesterday. So we are still down a little bit. But here, as you can see here, it shows my my whole collection and what's up, what's down uh, in my collection. A lot of down, a lot of down, a lot of down. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's kind of cool. You can you just go through and see your whole collection. So if you guys want to, you know, this might be a reason right here to actually join um, a coma wiki if you're not already doing it. You know, it's 10 bucks a month. Omi the Clown up here. Go follow him on Twitter. He does a great job. Uh, he's still updating a lot of stuff. Like, there's still a lot of stuff on here that's not correct, I don't think. Like, um, down here where it says uh, Comic Market Cap, this right here I don't think is correct. He, he's going to have to fix that. But he knows about all this stuff. He's just working on it. But the new site looks really clean. It looks really, like, crisp. I like it a lot. Um, let's see what if this still does the same thing. Hopefully I don't show you guys some personal account info. Let's see, uh, dashboard, uh, and then you go here, and there's collectibles, and this is just all the collectibles on the app. Oh, the count just went up, went up a little bit anyway. That's good. Um, so yeah, you can see, and it's even got like the latest ones up, so that's good to see. That got fixed because it was delayed for a few days for a little while. Graphs, uh, you come here, and then the uh, 
And we have the graphs for everything. Let's see if we can go to a little bit older one, see what the graphs look like. So this is going to be what our new graphs look like whenever we're looking stuff up on the page. So it's really clean. It's really cool. I'm not sure what this tables is. I haven't even looked at this yet. So anyway, yeah, you know, hopefully it won't be as glitchy as it's been. It seems to be working really well right now, which I don't know how long that'll last, but uh, it's just really cool. It looks like a really good, I like the way it looks. He's doing a great job. He's improving it every day. Um, and like I said, he's he's real communicative, like with the community. If you want to go talk to him, if you have something you think you should do or something, you know, you think should be different on here, let him know. You know, he's, he's definitely open to suggestions. He seems to be a really humble guy. Um, so yeah, check it out guys. It's a, uh, it's, it's really cool looking. So this is what our charts will look like from now on, whenever we start looking up stuff. So once again, if you guys have anything you want me to look up, let me know. Um, also to let you guys know, I will be doing a giveaway with 11 more subs guys. 32 is 14 is where we're at. We need 11 more subs to do the giveaway for subs. I will do a giveaway if we get over 100 people on the stream, and I will do a giveaway if we get 100 likes, and I will do a giveaway if we... Uh, I will definitely be doing my members-only giveaway later on today. Uh, to join the membership, all you have to do is go to my homepage, click Join, and um, it's $3.99 a month, and you're registered every day. We haven't been having, but, you know, six or seven people every day. I think yesterday we had like nine or ten people, but it's really easy to win stuff whenever you're in that members giveaway. So I will be doing that later on. Uh, later on today so if you guys don't mind go join that all right guys let's see who's here rich buddy what's up buddy how you doing melanie hi melanie thank you for stopping by keon says hi rob what's up buddy thanks for being here c rios how you doing garrett thank you for being here my friend c rios says you think woody it will be todd in the future i was on the fence to sell my sr black panther animated or my ur ghost rider to get a woody your thoughts um I don't think it'll be as valuable as Todd. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I think, it, you know, I do think it can get up to that 1,500, 2,000 mark. I think it can be very, I think it could be valuable for what it is. You got to remember, guys, there's a lot of them. There's almost 14,000. There's twice as many as there are Todd's. You know, Todd's just got the significance of the fact that he's the first thing ever on the app. Um, I personally wouldn't sell a Black Panther or a Ghost Rider for it. Um, you know, just my personal opinion. But, you know, people can, you know, do what you, do what you feel is right. Um, the main reason I wouldn't sell those two is because they're um, the 8% fee. And I just, neither of those have had the chance to um, to really run either. Just like Woody hasn't had a chance to run yet. So, I mean, you eventually are going to have to hold something to, you know, to, to see the value. So I would, um, I would hold them personally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell those two for it. Kryptoni says, someone Florida Walt to stack Woody's. I just seen it on Twitter. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, you you probably have a bigger um a bigger a bigger short term ROI with uh with Woody than you're gonna have with Walt. Uh, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it, but like I said, everybody's got different you know different views of what they want to do on here. Woody's doing really well right now, guys. I think he was up to like three twenty earlier. Uh, he's at three three twenty four, so he's doing really well. He's right about where I sold um earlier, and then he dipped back down to like two eighty. I thought, and I was like, man, I should rebuy, and I didn't. But we'll see. I'm not, I'm not super, I, I don't know. I'll probably, I may complete the set one day. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't interest me a whole lot. Uh, Garrett says he's got 287 master collector points. Awesome, man. Congrats. Uh, Ryan says, Rob, hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, I did, man. It was awesome. I'm actually going to a concert tonight. It's, um, I don't even know the guy's name. It's one of my girlfriends. My girlfriend's from Sweden, and he's a he's a guy from Sweden. We're going to his concert tonight. I don't even know who he is, but we are doing that in a little bit, so that'll be fun. I'm going to be leaving here in about five hours to go do that, so really looking forward to that. Uh, Keon says, do you think buying Lightning McQueen for long term is a good buy or wait for it to drop in price? Man, it's cheap right now. It is so cheap. It's I think everybody's kind of neglecting everything else because everybody's trying to get in Woody right now. Um Lightning McQueen sitting at 167. I know he was in the 120s yesterday. Um, I still haven't picked any of them up for the long-term collection except for the Up House. I've got two of them because I got one on the drop, and I picked one up later. Um, I'm going to wait a couple weeks before I complete the set. I, you know, I, Woody may get away from me. It could happen. I mean, he is getting pumped hard on on um, Twitter, YouTube, and all that stuff. A lot of co uh, content creators are really pumping Woody. So, um you know, he could get up into that four or $500 range. And if I have to buy one later, I mean, I'll just, I'll buy him off app or something and 
to complete the set. But I'm, I'm not looking to really buy right now. I don't really have the gems to buy right now either. Um, so there's that. But uh, yeah, I um, I'm personally gonna wait. I think you got time on them. I don't think I don't think Lightning McQueen's gonna like. We're gonna wake up tomorrow and it be 600. That could happen with Woody with the way he's being pumped. But uh, if he does jump up that high, I do think he will retrace because you know nothing on the apps ever doubled and not came back down. So um, yeah, I would just I, I would personally hold off. But I, I think with he's so cheap right now that if you're planning on holding him long term, you're probably good either way. Uh, MD says, how much did you put into the app money-wise? Uh, it was like 92, I think it's where I'm at, 92,000. MD says, what do you think your current collection uh, would have been worth in January? Uh, in January, uh, my account value got up to 230,000. And at the time I had like 80,000 invested. So I've, I've invested another 12 or 13,000 since then. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, 250, 260 maybe. Braden says, Rob, I feel like I'm stuck holding the bag on the Mickey Lenticular, bought at 370, and Lightning is being swept on very hard. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta make your own decisions, man. But that's why people um, you know, you you don't lose until you sell. That's just the way it works in life. Um, you know, if you thought Mickey was a good buy at 370, because you thought in a year, you know, I don't know what your thought to process was. If you thought he was gonna be worth more than that in a year, well, you haven't let your year go by. You know, wait out your time. Don't um, you know wait out your time frame that you originally said, you know, don't forget about your time frame just because the next, you know, thing you look cool came, comes out. That's so important. And that's why so many people lose money in the stock market and everywhere because people go in with the plan and they say, Oh, I'm going to buy this at, I'm going to buy this at 300, 350, because in a year from now, I think it's going to be worth 600. I'm going to double my money. And then a month later when it's gone down, they're like, uh, I'm going to get out and go get into something else. And then they do the same thing over again. And it's a perpetual cycle. You know, you got to have a plan when you go in and, uh, you know, just stick to your plan. So whatever your plan was, if your plan was, you know, when he bought that card, I'm going to buy at 370 and I'm going to have a stop loss at 300 and it went below 300. That's a different plan. But just work your plan. Just have a plan when you go in. Um, I'm not worried about the Mickey cards. I'm still buying lenticular cards. I think that I don't see how they don't go up, but I could be wrong. Dino, what's up, Dino? How's Woody looking, Rob? Oh man, he's doing good. He's up to three twenty, so that's uh, that's really good. He's looking really good. I um, I think he he may get up to like the four hundred range, but I think he's going to retrace pretty big. I mean, a lot of people are stacking them to flip them. Um, I think Dino was stacking some to flip them too. I think you made some money too, didn't you, buddy? I I, stack, I did two of them. I flipped two of them. I ended up between the two. I think I made after fees and everything like seventy gems or something. So that was cool. Um, yeah, but he's looking really good right now. Uh, guys, go follow Dino too. Oh, and we're doing our our get our meetup on Saturday. We're gonna be doing a meetup, me and Dino, and uh, I think there's quite a few other people gonna be coming. Uh, it's gonna be in Concord, California. So if you want more details, either hit me or Dino up if you're in the area. Michael Santiago says, "What do you think we should get on this bear market? Uh, what do I think we should get? Uh, what do you mean, like drop wise or profit wise? What are you talking about?" <laughs> What do you think we should? Oh, what do you think you should buy right now? Oh man, um, anything that's came out, um, anything that's came out since the huge drop, any any big IPs that have came out since the huge drop, we just haven't had sellers since then. And what I'm talking about is I'm talking about uh, the new golden moments, lenticular cards, um, Spider Man, uh, Marvel Mighties, uh, Aston Martins, or um, the Pixar stuff, I think right now is this, the big buys for me right now, uh, as far as the collectibles go. Of course, there's some comics as well. Uh, and the reason is they just they haven't had a chance to get the people who want to flip them out into the hands of collectors because we haven't had a whole lot of buying pressure. So that's if I was looking to buy on this market and that's what I've been buying. Uh, that And that's why I look at it that way. Uh, Funky Cole says, like your response on Twitter regarding comics and mint numbers to equal a grade. We don't have a metadata and a, a mint of 24768 could have been minted first on the blockchain, then a 333 mint. Yeah, I mean, I understand what they're trying to do. I just wish they wouldn't call it a grade because, um, in the collector's universe, everybody knows what a grade is. I mean, you grade comics, you grade cards, you grade all of that, so you grade video games. And grade is always based on quality, on on uh, damage uh, and, you know, quality. It's, it's basically, you know, a 10 is a perfect specimen and then it works its way down. 
Well, all these are perfect specimens because they're all digital collectibles. So calling it a grade, I think, is a huge mistake. I think they need to come up with a different way to phrase it because I think you call, using the word grade just instantly turns people off. If you would call it a... um. I don't know, an evaluation or a, something else, anything other than the word grade, because the word grade is so ingrained in the collector's community. Um, I do appreciate what they're doing. I I love comics and crypto, and I'm sure that's who they're talking about when they say that. I think the world of those guys. So I don't mean to come off as saying anything negative about them. I love what they're trying to do. I just think they need to rephrase it, you know, because I think the word grade is just, it means something different in the collector's community than what it means, than what they're having it portray. Eduardo says, hey, what do you think of the Amazing Spider-Man number one common comic? Just bought one recently. I think that's like, I think everybody needs one. I think I think those Grail comics, and speaking of comics and crypto, um, oh, and also, guys, uh, Sleeping Comics hit me up yesterday. I I don't know why, but I didn't even know Sleeping Comics had his own website. I, I didn't know that. It's like, I, I consider myself to be friends with the dude. I didn't even know he had his own website. So I'm definitely going to start promoting that for him. Um because he, I mean, he's just such a great dude. Uh, actually, we're, let's look it up right now. Because I've never even looked at it. As I'm saying, guys, that's why this, this community is is so amazing, guys. We we are so fortunate to have the community we have. Um, the Yeah, I need to come. In, I need to come in here and play with this a little bit. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen this, this is Sleeping Comics's uh, website. Let me show it to you guys. And uh, yeah, it uh, it it looks it looks really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start coming in here some on the on the channel too. Uh, guys, go support it. Go support Sleeping Comics, man. He's a great dude. He's a great uh, influencer. He just put out an amazing video earlier today. Uh, so yeah, if if there's any other tools I need to know about, guys, let me know. I want to promote every... There is not one content creator on the, on YouTube or Twitter or anywhere that I don't want to help promote. So if you guys know of something that I'm missing, please let me know because I had no idea. That's why I've always used Comics and Crypto. I don't know why. I just... I did not know he had this. And so I'm going to use them both. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be doing some, some looking, you know, some digging into here. Oh, he's got comic tiers. He's got physical grades. All right, cool. So yeah, and he considers the two S tiers to be Marvel 1 and Amazing Spider-Man 252. Sweet, I own both of those. <laughs> but if you'll notice here, your thing was about Amazing Spider-Man 1. He considers this the top or the number one A comic on the app. So um, yeah, I, I think everybody needs to have one of those to answer your question. If you're, if you're just getting into comics, I would come to this site or I would go to um, the rank page on Comics and Crypto and I just go down the list. These are the ones you need. And these are the guys who know what you need. And if you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, Marvel Comics, number one, Amazing Spider-Man, one, Daredevil, one, Fantastic Four, one, Fantastic Four, five, Marvel Spotlight, five. I mean, and this one right here, I think is one of the best deals on the app right now, Marvel Spotlight, five. And the reason for that is it just came out. So I think you could still get the, these at some decent prices. So that's why I've got two of the secret rares and I'm hoping to add some more because I just think this is going to be huge. So um, big shout out to Sleeping Comics. Go follow him on YouTube. Go follow or uh, go to his website. And uh, yeah, definitely going to be using this as a resource. And uh, thank you for sharing that with me, Sleeping. I'm sorry I didn't know about it before, man. <laughs> I really am because it looks really cool. All right, guys. Spin Theories is good afternoon. Good afternoon, my friend. Thank you for being here. Ryan Schott says, I have two woodies. You think it's worth flipping one up to grab a Ghost Rider Ultra Rare? Uh, flipping one? Yeah, absolutely one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, diversify. And I think that Ultra Rare Ghost Rider is going to go up quick. I really do. I think you're going to have a lot more time to get into the woody than you are to get into the Ultra Rare Ghost Rider. Just because there's so many more woodies. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and see, here's what I'm saying right here. Look at Dino. If you need woodies, I'm selling. See, a lot of people are flipping them. A lot, a lot of people are flipping them. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, Woody's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. I think his long-term trajectory, I think, is going to be up. I mean, let's, he's, he's an amazing character, guys. I I hope I didn't come off yesterday thinking he's, like, not worth being worth a lot of money. I, I think he is. It's just going to take a long time with that number in the market we're in. So, um, so yeah, it's... I, I definitely think you want to get them, but I would grab those Ghost Riders while I can because Ghost Rider is not going to be around for long, I don't think. I don't think we're going to be able to buy them at these prices much longer. Uh, Dino said he's traded them too. What you looking to trade for, Dino? What you want for one? 
Big Legend G says I bought Mickey Lenticular at 550 and have no complaints. Yeah, me too. I mean, I I bought all the Lenticular cards higher than they are now. Um, I mean, it's first appearance. Yeah, if you don't believe in first appearance on the blockchain of the most popular characters on the planet, then you're probably in the wrong place. I mean, that's just the bottom. I hate to be that way, but that's just the way it is, you know. Ryan Schott says, to make you feel better about my Pluto at 1.7, but still hold and learn a lesson on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while to get him back to 1.7. But yeah, that's what's happening right now, guys. That's why you know we didn't have the huge shoot up in prices yesterday, because everybody's learning that same lesson. We all got burned on the um, the lenticular cards. We all got burned on the golden moments. You know, we, we all did. So now everybody's playing the market differently. The market is constantly changing. It's changing nonstop, guys, and we have to keep that in mind, because... You know, we're all learning and we're all evolving at the same time. Garrett says, sleeping in the best. Love VV in three, too. Oh, yeah, sleeping is the best, man. He's a great dude. Uh, yeah, VV in three, uh, old rhubarb. He's a great dude, too. Yeah, you can follow those guys. Go go to um, go to Fastos. I don't know. If, is sleeping comics on Fastos? I don't know if he is or not. But yeah, you can follow all those guys in the app. I know VV in three is on there. Uh, his name's Old Rhubarb, if you guys don't know that. Let's see how many people we got on the Fastos wall. I'm curious because it's been getting pumped like crazy. I feel I kind of feel bad for uh for Superstar Buddy. I mean, guys, I didn't mean to, to like steal their thing, and that's kind of what happened. I, it kind of hijacked it. Then they got pushed down to the bottom, and it's like I felt really bad about it. I wish I could keep relisting it for them to keep them up at the top. Um, yeah, right now, let's see who do we know. Dino's at the top, uh, the Gale, VV Vibes, the Palace. Uh, oh, somebody came in and listed a whole bunch, like took up a whole page. That's not cool. Don't do that, guys. Me, no credits left. Um, Oculus, let's see. People putting up cell walls at 9.9 .9 million. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, yeah, guys, Foster, Foster's on there, Foster Hilt, uh, Scott Purdy. For those of you who don't know, Scott Purdy is beyond the fan. Um, yeah, there's a ton. You can just go down the list and just My Collectibles is on there. Johnny Dunn's on there. Superstar Money's on there. So, yeah. Just go down the list, and if you want people to follow you on the app, just follow everybody you can see there. I'll follow back everybody who's, who follows me. Let me go see if I've, had, I've got any new followers right now that we can. I'm up to 530 followers. Since the Fastos wall, I've added like 100 followers. Pumpkin1 followed me, followed you back. He says, I believe all people are equal, and we should treat each other as we like to be treated. I agree 100%. I stack silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Omi, happily married with one son and two cats, living large in Florida. All right, man, congrats. Looks like he's a DC fan. Got quite a bit of DC up at the top. Cool, cool. Nice collection you got there, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Did I miss anybody? Adonis. Following you back, Adonis. Uh, Adonis Allen, mild-mannered IT professional. Interesting. Got a Superman. Got a Todd. Got the Harley, the Pew Harley Quinn. I love, man, I want that Hugh Harley, Harley Quinn so bad. Got a pride. Man, he's got a nice collection. A lot of value in that collection. 152 items, too. That's cool. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? It gets so hard because you get so many people following. And whenever, every time somebody updates, it brings you back to the top of the page. So you can't, it's hard to follow everybody back. But I'm going to try my best. So if anybody wants to follow me, go follow me now, and I will follow you back. Just let me know in the chat that you followed me. I just followed uh, Prestige, uh, their Twitters. Hey, David Don. Okay, I've seen him on, um, He's. I think he's on Randy's channel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, founder at Prestige Fitness. Cool. So, yeah, guys, if you follow me, let me know, and I'll go follow you on the app real quick, give you a shout-out. Trying to get my, my subscribers up. Anyway, that's the goal. Yada Dogs, and he joined the wall of Fastos. If you guys have noticed, Garrett and Yada Dog's names are green. That means they are members of the channel. That means they are eligible for the members-only giveaway that I'll be doing later on in the chat. If you want to be, it's $3.99 a month, and I give away something every day to members. So if you want to go join the membership, I'd really appreciate it. Dino Lang says, I flip it a Woody all day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's like 3% of the Woody's on the market. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. 
Alex the Crypto says, hey, Rob, how you doing? Did you get anything on the drop? I haven't bought the house uh, meant below 2K for 98 gems. Oh, cool, man. So I was happy for that, and I'm now waiting for the rest to cool down. Yeah, I, um, I got the house on the drop, actually, and I bought one house uh, after the drop because um, I just I got a really good deal. I, what I thought was a really good deal at the time, but it's, it's about where it's at now. Um, yeah, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I bought two Woodies yesterday and flipped them, and I think I don't remember how many gems I made 70 or 80 gems between the two of them. So I was happy with that, but I, um, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, and I'll go, I'll, I'll eventually pick up the whole set, but uh, I'm gonna wait till like the next big drop. I, I just have a feeling they're just gonna go down, but we'll see what the way Woody's being pumped online. Um, there is a chance that he could get up to that five, six hundred dollar mark and not come back, but. You know, I'll I'll figure it out. I'm not I'm not gonna get in a hurry. It was it was fun flipping them though, but I did go into those two with the idea that I was gonna flip them. Dino says he's trading. Uh, he's trading for cool stuff with two point five percent fees, like Batman. Cool. Uh, trading his low mint Star Wars for Batman too. Dang, Dino's just looking for gems. That's what Dino's looking for. <laughs> uh. I like the crypto says, damn, you know, you're making some moves right now. What you uh, interpreting? Dino's trying to get gems. I know what Dino's doing. Jeff says, I sold my weight 300 yesterday and grabbed a Monica Rambo SR comic. Was that a bad choice? I don't think so. I don't think it was a bad choice at all. Um, I think, uh, I don't know what Woody's going to do. I have no idea. I think it's, you know, I think it probably like right now what it's doing, it's getting up to like 325, 330, and it's falling down to 280. It's staying in that range. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun one to watch. I don't I don't know. I mean, what's gonna happen when everybody just moves on to something else is gonna be my question. Just like we always do. Uh, yeah, see his floor right now is at 320. Uh he was at 280 earlier today. It's just I don't know, it's interesting. Um Yeah, 4% for sale, 3.9% for sale. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he does have it, it. It is good that we're seeing, um, you know, less for sale. Usually at this point, we still have like 6 to 8% for sale. But that could go along too with like we were talking about earlier with the way people are changing how they're playing the game. I mean, people are changing the way they're playing the game on the buy-in side. I mean, we can tell that just by yesterday. I think yesterday proved that people didn't FOMO in. But in turn, that may be changing the way people are selling too. We don't know. You know, this market is constantly evolving. So it's just, it's so, it's so different. It's so cool, you know, just to watch, but there's just no telling what's going to happen. Melanie, what's up, Melanie? Said, do you know I want a Woody? I don't have one trading or selling for. <laughs> you guys are all going to try to beat Dito out of his Woodies. <laughs> Kryptoni says, Dito, I guess I can part with my common weapons rack for one of those Woodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to do that, I'll definitely give you a weapons rack for a Woody. There's no doubt. I don't even own one. I'd buy one now. Top Killer says, Will Woody is going to become a grail piece. Uh, maybe. I mean, it, it depends on your definition of a grail. I mean, my, you know... I don't know. I think my definition of the word grail is changing a lot, but I'd like to know that. Like how many, just put in the chat guys, how many pieces do you guys think we have right now in the app that, that you would consider long-term grails? I'm, I'm very curious what people's numbers are because mine is, um, let's see, I'm going to do it in my head real quick. Just so. Yeah, I'm curious how many of you guys think there are. I don't think there's a whole lot that I would consider grails. And I would consider Woody way down the list, to be totally honest. But, I mean, I guess it just depends on your definition of a grail. Uh, Jerry says he got the whole set. Oh, congratulations, man. That's cool. I'll get it eventually. Maybe. Uh, Ryan Shot says, can you check the Ghost Rider UR chart? I just sold the Woody for $322. Trying to see what would be a good price to grab the comic. Yeah, let's check it out. Check out the new, the new, uh, the new and improved Acoma Wiki too. This is this is cool. You guys are gonna have to bear with me a minute while I try to learn how to use it because I've never looked at it before. All right, comics search, and that's Marvel Spotlight. Oh, it went quick. I like that. Usually, it's usually not that quick, so that's good. 
and you said the ultra rare. Heck yeah. Good job, Omi the Clown. I like this. Look at that. It popped up quick. That's cool. Um, This thing, right, it, it's, it's low. It's all-time low. Let's see if we can... What am I doing wrong? Okay. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Yeah, this isn't good. Why don't we have the prices? I guess we do on the side. It was at 285 or 283 was the low. Right now it's sitting at 340. Um, the lowest it's ever been was 251. Yeah, I don't like this. I wish it would all pop up here. Maybe I, I might be doing it wrong too. I don't know. But uh, number of sellers is not, it, it's kind of stayed the same. I don't know. According to this, it could drop. I think it's trying. It's kind of building out a channel right here. It could drop down to the 300 mark, so it might not be the right time to be buying it, to be totally honest with you. Um, what I would do, I would probably just sit on it and watch it. And um, what does he have? See, this is why his uh, this is why his his numbers are off as far as uh, comics. He he puts. 62 of 30,000, but there's not 30,000 of this particular one. There's 30,000 in the entire edition. There's only 1,050 of these. So uh, that's I need to I need to message him about that and let him know that's off. Um but yeah, there's only there's 62 available. I don't know. I think if you're willing to hold long term, I think it's a great deal. Do I think you'll have a better buying in price probably? I think you'll get another buying price. I mean, we've we've done been to this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven, eight times, and all eight times we've had a different time after to buy lower. So I would assume you will have a cheaper buy-in point if you want, but if you're looking to hold really long-term, I think you're probably good. Um, you know, I, I think long-term you're going to, you're going to make money with it in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> Ryan says he completed it as well. Yeah, I agree. It's a great value. Yeah, guys, yesterday there was a point yesterday where you could buy the whole set for six something. Uh, right at 600 gems. That's dirt cheap. So Dino says all picks are moving up and sellers down. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it is moving. It's moving. We've never seen movement like this in the market. It, it's it's interesting to watch. I'm curious what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting what's happening right now. I'm enjoying watch. I think we're going to be able to learn a lot from it. Uh, Ryan shots. Uh, Dino says zero to five grails. Yeah, I'm thinking more like I think if you consider uh, comics and um, collectibles, I think there's like maybe eight to 10 total, but uh, I don't, I mean, I just think Woody's way down the list from there. So I don't think, I don't think I would consider him a grail, but it depends on your definition of grail. Jeff said, should I sell the Monica Rambo SR for two to three Edna mode cheap since a UR and it's so cheap. Uh, I personally would not do that. I wouldn't pay the 8% to, go into a collectible because the collectibles just seem to be so volatile right now. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do agree that Edna's uh, undervalued. I think they're all, all the ones from yesterday are undervalued. I just don't know how long it's going to take them to get, you know, up to higher prices, but we'll see. Uh, Kryptoni says, I consider my entire gold moment set grails. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't know. I think if you, if you're talking 10 years from now, then yeah, we could have, we could have a thousand grails in the app in 10 years, you know, but, Right now, I would say, okay, I would say Walt, Secret Rare Spider-Man. Um, I would consider the SR Aston Martin to be a future grail. Uh, maybe R2-D2. I think R2-D2's got the chance being first ever Star Wars. Um, Pride, I think, has a really good chance it ended up being a grail, depending on what happens with it. And then the rest would be the comics, you know, the Marvel, Marvel one, Marvel comics, one, uh, fantastic four, one and five, uh, ASM one. That's what I would consider to be the grails. Uh, yeah. Mar yeah. The secret rare versions of those. Edson says only two. Okay. Curious which two you would say Edson. Jerry says, uh, we're too old to think Woody is a grail, but he is, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. The most expensive Woody toy that's ever sold in history sold for $3,200. And there was only 117 of those ever made. And they sell very rarely. Uh, when And there's they have them on the market. They, on average, sell for about two grand. And um, 
you know, so I don't know. I don't know why people, I don't know why people say that. I mean, I understand people, people think, you know, people say that, you know, it's a great movie. I love Toy Story. I absolutely love Toy Story, but we just have no history of anything Toy Story ever selling for a lot of money ever. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a multi-billion, it's a huge enterprise, but everything in it sells for under 50 bucks, you know, everything. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You know, I can point to you where, you know, I, I know Mickey Mouse things and Donald Duck things and, you know, goofy things that have sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars in the real world. You know, Toy Story just doesn't exist, you know? So um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it a grail I, with 13,000 editions? I mean, if it was a secret rare and had a thousand editions, I might agree with you, but I just, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. And once again, it depends on your definition of grail too, you know, because it's not a, it's not set in stone what a grail is, you know. I mean, literally, the, the reason that something is called a grail is because the Holy Grail was, you know, the cup Jesus drank out of, you know, at the Last Supper. That's what a grail is. And uh, Woody from Toy Story compared to the Last Cup of Christ, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but it depends on your definition. And a lot of people will look at it that way. So Dino says zero to ten girls. That's about where I'm at, about zero to ten right now. Um. I think there are some speculative things that could be long term, but we just don't know yet. Uh, Jerry says I was 28 when he came out. Never really got into Toy Story. Uh, yeah, I was. Let's see, well, 95 is the year I graduated from high school, so I was 18 when it came out. Um, but I had kids in that range, so I did. I, I watched them. I loved them. I love the movies. The movies are great. Ryan says Todd Pride, uh, Golden Moments, Aston Martin SR, Spider Man SR, Marvel Comics One SR. Yeah, the only things I would add to that would be um, the two Fantastic Fours and um, and uh, Amazing Spider-Man one. May well, yeah, that's probably about all of that. Yeah, but you're, we're on the same page. The Spins Theory says yesterday I mentioned you can see inside Woody and see his teeth and tongue from inside his head. My girlfriend got Edna, and same with her. Wonder why you can see that when it's not exposed from outside. Uh, I don't know, just Easter egg. They throw Easter eggs in a lot of these things. There's a lot of stuff you can find um, in a lot of the collectibles that just things they put in there. And they may, you know, a lot of people speculate that, you know, maybe you will be able to see in the future. You know, maybe you'll be able to open their mouth at some point. Maybe they'll say something at some point. If they do, maybe they'll have to open their mouth. Um, if you go, you can also look at the um, the size of the file. And sometimes, like, I know Captain America, Zombie Captain America has one of the biggest file sizes on the app. And a lot of people are speculating, why is that? You know, there, there may be, you know, future gamification. There may be a lot of things. So there's a lot of stuff we don't know yet, guys. A lot, a lot of stuff. And that's just, that could be one of them. Uh, Kryptoni says, financial advice, Dino. Uh-oh, we don't get financial advice on this channel, man. <laughs> Hold those woodies for about three weeks. Could be wrong, but that's how I'm playing it. You know, if we don't have if we don't have any new drops in the next three weeks, you might be right. That might be a really good move. Um, I don't know. It's just nothing. We have nothing on the market that's done what you're saying right there. Nothing in the last since. I guess the last thing that really just went up like that was Steamboat Willie, and that was three months ago. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else that we've had released that three weeks later was worth more than it was worth on draw or a few days after the drop. Am I wrong? Is there something else? Maybe some comics. I'm trying to think, has there been anything since Steamboat Willie that has gone up for more than like three weeks straight? Funky Gold says, would have to use percentage for comics instead of grade. I'm selling a 0.5% Amazing Spider-Man, uh, number one for 30K. Any takers? How, how does percentage sound? Weird at first, but could stick. Yeah, I mean, if you're, I think that's way more, I mean, that's more what it is. I mean, I think it's, you know, if you said I have a top 5% or top 10%, I think that's way I think that's way more fair evaluation than saying the word grades. That's probably a really, really good idea, Funky Cold. Uh, Jerry Close says, Marvel Spotlight 5 is my biggest stack. If I had the gems at the time, it would be my biggest stack, too. I just didn't have the gems. <laughs> uh, Jerry says, 1.0 is, really is roughly 10%. Not sure what you're talking about, my friend. Uh, Melanie says, I only think a few comics are grails that have been proven in the real world. Maybe the Todd, since it was the first NFT, and maybe the Walt. I don't think Woody is one. Yeah, I don't think so either. You got to realize, guys, Woody is the hot new thing this week. You know, once in, in a month from now, is anybody going to... 
you know, in, in, what's it going to be like in a year from now? Okay, in a year from now, we have, let's say we do have Pokemon. Let's say we do have the new Star Wars. Let's say we do have Buzz Lightyear. Let's say we do have the Disney princesses. Let's say we have, um, you know, I mean, whatever else. You could add a ton of other stuff. Is Woody going to be one of the top things on the app? I mean, I just, he's the hot new thing. And you got to play him that way, you know. And I, I'm a long-term holder. I'm gonna, Once I get one to hold, I'm going to hold it long-term. I mean, the two I bought yesterday were flips, and they, they worked out great. But uh, I just don't think long-term he's people are going to look at him like he's just the, you know, as great as everybody's looking at him today because he was dropped yesterday. You know, I mean, look at look at everything else we've had. Look at how crazy what people went for Batcroc. Batcroc caused the largest gem squeeze we've ever seen on this app. The largest one. And look at where it's at now. I'm not saying it's going to be, I'm not saying Woody's going to be that bad. Woody's going to be good. It's just long term. I just don't, I don't see it personally. I could be wrong. I hope I am wrong. I hope everybody who owns one makes a million dollars on him. I just personally don't see it. Melanie says, I have two houses. I love them. Make great photos. Yeah, I love your photos you did. Your Twitter, you, what you put on Twitter yesterday was great. Thank you for doing that. I showed it on the channel. I don't know if you were here. Uh, so yeah, everybody, that was that was Melanie, Story of Five's house, that video that she put out on Twitter. So that was really cool. You did a great job with that. Jerry says, even if you are in for the long term, you still want cheapest price. That way you get more. No, I agree. I agree 100%. Comic fan again says, I think as more drops come, it solidifies Grail's status of the earlier collections, including Spidey, Todd, Walt, Lenticular cards, etc. It'll make everything else rise. Yeah. So I wouldn't even consider the Lenticular cards to be Grails, but um, but yeah, I know what you're saying. And I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh Garrett says, Rob, do you seek out lower mints on comics or just grab the floor? Uh it depends. I um it's fun to mint hunt comics, but I don't know if it's really worth it, to be totally honest with you. Like, right now, I have the number 152 um, Spider-Man 252, and it, it I can't sell it for more than the floor. I've tried, and I can't get hardly anything for it. I just I just think selling mint, I mean, there are people who will pay more for mints, but they're just few and far between. You just limit your selling base so much. You know, I don't, you know, if you, if you buy floors to me and you're ever looking to sell it, you're just going to be able to flip floors way easier than you're going to be able to sell, um, then, then you're going to be able to, you know, sell mints in my, excuse me, just from my experience, Jerry Glue says grail ish. Yeah. I think that's where we're at right now. I think we have, I think we really have like one or two like real grails in the app right now and a lot of grail ish things. So we'll see where it all works out. <laughs> Melly says, thoughts on the grading system from Comics and Crypto for NFT Comics. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. I don't know if you heard it or not, but um, I just think I think what they're trying to do is great. I, I understand what they're trying to do. I just think they need to call it something other than grading because uh, because everybody in the every collector in the real world knows what grading is and what they're saying is not grading. And someone mentioned earlier they should call it percentages, and I think that's right. I think you should call it percentages or something else. Um, but yeah, grade. I think people. People just associate grade too much with things that digital com that digital items do not have. So, you know, wear and tear. And you don't have that on digital item. Uh, Grail adjacent, yeah. Uh, Jerry says R2 for sure. Yeah, I think R2. I think I would put R2 up there, um, especially long term. Braden says, what do Batman statues sell on? What do Batman statues sell on average? Uh, in the real world, um, they're cheap. Uh, you can usually get a Batman statue. I mean, even like a numbered limited statue. I was selling Todd's. Before VD, I was selling Todd's for like 200, I think one, I think 180, 200, somewhere in there. Of course, they shot up with VD. Uh, Jerry Clue says these NFTs are way closer to what Woody is than a toy is. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe, but you have the same people buying. It's my issue. Um, it and I, it also, you know, guys, you got to realize, you know, Toy Story's got 27 years under its belt. Uh, Disney's got 100 years under its belt. You know, so. There's just more, there's been more time for these things to evolve in price, uh, you know, for Disney. Ace Boogie says Toy Story is debut Pixar. Witter is the lead character, and the animated fans would want to own him digitally, not physically. Okay, maybe. Uh, Hollow says, Would you consider a mint uh, 1888 and 8881 a set? Was thinking it would look cool side by side. I mean, it might look cool side by side, but I don't think anybody's going to pay you any more than the floor for either of those numbers. Uh, a grail is a cup. Yeah, but people use the word grail talking about the holy grail. Uh, Ryan Schott says Superman could be a grail. It used to think Steamboat UR was. Yeah, I had Superman in my list. Uh, Superman, my list would be like 
yeah, like I said earlier, I think Superman was in my list when I did my original thought of what I thought were grails. Uh, so yeah, I know I already went over it. I'm not gonna do it again. Um, and get the word grail off my show. Why? Because I hot on my grails. I, anything I consider a grail, I keep. I keep, except for the Todd. I did get rid of the Todd to get another um, to get another grail or something else I consider to be a better grail. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know why I would get it off my show. I haven't sold anything that I consider a grail. Kryptoni says, I, I seen someone sold a wallet to stack woodies. I'll put it this way. Golden moments are the first ever Disney pieces. And this is a collector's app. Think about it. Yeah, but um, I can get where he's coming from. I mean, I, I personally wouldn't do it because I want to I want to hold my my waltz long term. But uh, I mean, yeah, you probably you have way more flipping opportunities with Woody than you have with Walt. There's no doubt about that. And he's going to work his way up just like everything else. I mean, you know, he's going to go from, you know, he was 250. He went to 290. He's going to go, you know, so if you buy the floor and you sell high, buy low, you can, you can generate a lot of gems that way if you have the time and want to take the chance, you know? I mean, eventually he's going to be worth, I think eventually he's worth 800 to a thousand gems at some point. And if you just flip your way up and down all the way, you can make some money. Batman says, what brand or type of collectible would you personally like to see make an appearance on VB? Um, I, <laughs> I want to see trading cards, guys. I, and a lot of people are like, why do you want the cards instead of the collectibles? Because in the real world, the cards are worth a lot more money than collectibles. I would love to see trading cards. I mean, I've been a trading card fan for a really long time. So, yeah, that's probably something. I'd also like to see, like, real world art, like actual art, like uh, the Mona Lisa or Picassos or stuff like that. I just think that would be... I don't know. Class up the joint a little bit. <laughs> Rogers, Rogers dividends. I like your name, man. Of house getting close to 129. Wall. Woohoo. All right, man. Yeah, they're all bumping up a little bit. It's good to see. What's Woody doing? Woody's up 10 bucks since we started. He's at 330. Quite a few for sale in the 330s, but um, we'll see if he can eat that wall. There's there's some people building a wall in the 330s. Uh the 330, 335 mark. There's what six, I think, on a wall. Uh, Jerry says partners is a grail. Marvel's comic one SR is a grail. Cool. There's two. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's just, it's, everybody's got their own personal, uh, you know, opinion of it. Would you consider Donnie a grail? Uh, no, I, well, I, I do think Donnie's are eventually going to get to the point where nobody's going to sell one ever. <laughs> and so maybe, you know, you might consider, like I said, it's all, it's all whatever people think, you know, whatever people think. The Ghost Busters hood ornament is pricey. Yeah, the uh, the Moogly, the gold Moogly. Yeah, there's not many of those either. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're not. I wouldn't consider those grails, but they might be to certain people, you know. And if if you know, like him, there's what 250 of them total, or something like that. Some super low number. So if 250 people of them get him and feel like he's a grail, then he's gonna be priceless if they don't sell it. How says I feel like Woody and Mickey Lynn chocolate cards will follow each other. Uh, that's possible. I can see that. I can see that for sure. I think Woody's going to trade a lot like Wonder Woman did, in my opinion. And it looks like it's that's what it's doing right now. But uh, it may go. It may stay higher than Wonder Woman once it gets higher because it doesn't have that two percent to sell fee. Ryan says, "I still really like the lenticulars. They will eventually have their day." Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you a bunch. Uh, Jerry says some influencers say Woody will flip flip Wally. Um, it may. It may. We're all just giving our opinion, man. When people, when, you know, every influence, I'm getting to know a lot of these influencers and we're just giving our opinions. We may be right. We may be wrong. None of us know. I could be completely wrong. You know, there's no doubt about that. That's why none of this is financial advice. Uh, Jeff says the house is the best one from the drop. I, I think so too. I like the house a lot. Edson says, in my opinion, I believe partners in Marvel Comic 1 SR are the only grails due to them being the most known in each category. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, if I was going like my my absolute bail, you know, bare bones grails, I would throw Secret Rare Spider Man in there too. But that would be the only three I would have too. So I can I can see that the other ones are are like I think going to be grails one day. Redden says, uh, in my opinion, Woody is one of the most memorable characters from my childhood. I'm 21. I just don't think the older generation can understand it. Um, well, I don't think that's a very fair assessment because I've got kids that were your age that are your age and, uh, I watched it with them. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I love Toy Story. It's one of my absolute favorite Disney movies ever. I'm just in the collectible business and I've just never seen anything Toy Story sell for hardly any money at all. Uh, now this could change it. This could change that, you know? Um, 
that's where my basis comes from. I, I love it. I'm going to get the set. There's no doubt I'll get the set. I just, there's no, if, if this gets up to where we're selling, we can sell 13,000 of them at a thousand dollars. That will by far be the largest market cap of any, um, you know, market cap to amount of any toy story thing ever sold. There's no doubt about that. So that's just where my thought process comes in. Melanie says Woody's very recognizable, but I wouldn't say Grail. I love Woody and Toy Story. Yeah, I do too. I absolutely do too, guys. I'm not trying to knock it at all. I mean, I just think people's price predictions for it are ridiculous, but I'm not trying to knock the piece at all. Uh, Kirtani says the only two Grails that have been mentioned in every response in the chat is Walt and Todd. So I think we got our answer. Um, well, Todd would not be in my top range of Grails. Um, Todd's going to have a lot to do with... Um, Todd's going to have a lot to do with how people think about the first of the app um, goes. Uh, I would say Todd, or I'm sorry, Walt and Marvel Comic 1 and maybe Spider-Man would be my three, like, absolute top ones. But, I mean, yeah, Todd's up there. Todd's always going to have a lot of value to him. I just don't know if I'd place him in the grail category for me. Garrett says, selling back Croc at 1800 was the best timing I've ever had on the app. There you go, my friend. Good call. Good call. Roger, touch your dividends. I love your day, man. I saw the 616 mint of today's comic for 475. Oh, congrats. Congrats. That's great. Ryan Schott says, I can't see Woody hitting 10, 10K plus like the others mentioned. Yeah, I can't see it hitting 10K anytime soon. I mean, it may in five years, you know, but I just don't see it being anytime soon. Edson says, did anyone go for the recur drop? I completely forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. I wish I would have. I wanted to. I got a pass and I didn't even go for the drop. It's like, I... I had other stuff going on. I was trying to get here. Uh, Aaron says, followed you, Rob. Okay, cool. Let me uh, let me go follow you back real quick. If anybody wants to follow me, uh, you can go to uh, Fastos and go follow that wall. Or if you want to follow just me directly and get the shout out on the channel for following me, go to um, Secret Rare Spike. I'm sorry, um, Ultra Rare Ben Riley, number 511. It's listed for 999,000 gems, and you can follow me there. All right, I got Aaron Spire, uh, Omi Millionaire since March of 2021, uh, Vivi since January 2022. Here to panic buy when you panic sell. I like that. All right, you are followed, my friend. Wow, one, two, three, four waltz. Secret Rare Aston Martin. Man, he's got a nice collection. Two Secret Rare Aston Martin. Three Secret Rare Aston Martins and a bunch of golden moments. Thank you for the follow, sir. I appreciate it. You are followed back. Uh, Wolverine, or Wol Wolverine, Wolverine, you are followed. The mighty I am family country, overwhelmingly blessed. Good for you, my friend. Uh, Todd McFarlane, Batman, all together now, Mickey. Bunch of gold moments. Nice collection you got there, my friend. Let's see. Team City Vice. You are followed. Vice, Omi to the Moon, Verified Partners Club, 33 exclusive member. I need to do that. I want to get the verified thing. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, he's got a fin sitting right next to his partner statue. That's cool. Uh, happy whistle, C3PO. Cool, collect. Boy, you collect everything, man. You got a little bit of everything. That's cool. Uh, all right, I think I got everybody. So, if anybody wants to follow me, go ahead and follow me. I will follow you back. Just let me know in the chat. I'll remember to do that. Also, a reminder, guys, I'm going to be doing a, um, a giveaway here in just a little bit for members. So, if you want to go join the membership, please do. Um, also we are 10 subs away from our sub our sub giveaway. So at 3225, I will be doing a giveaway for that as well. So if you guys want to sub up, hit that like button, get some more people in here. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to join the membership, it's 399 and I do a membership giveaway every day. So you got a really good chance of winning. Uh crypto or Alex Crypto says James Bond glider blueprint, definitely a grail. <laughs> Please don't ban me. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey. For some people, it may be. That's the thing. It's all speculative. Where you know, some people it may be. Mar London says that Mar Aston Mar Martin SR a sleeping giant. I think it is. I think that's why I traded my Todd for one. There's only five hundred. There's only there's only four hundred and nineteen of those in circulation, or something like that. And um, I just I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was too good of a deal, and um. I was able to make a huge profit on my Todd when I sold it. So I just sold my Todd. I think I think I'm gonna have a lot more chances. And I do want another Todd. I'm not bad mouthing Todd. I just think I'm gonna have more chances to get into a Todd at those prices than the Aston Martin. Comic fan again says, no doubt we are still at the ground floor for BV. People are gonna wish they could go back and buy these at this time. Yeah, I agree. 
Uh uh-uh. uh, Jerry says Toy Story is deep. So much to understand. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's a great, it's a great movie. It's this, it's one of my all time favorite, you know, stories. Ryan Sott said, I wish I could get Aston at SR, but would have to sell R2, which I don't think I can do. Yeah, I wouldn't sell an R2 for it for sure. I mean, do what you want, but I wouldn't sell an R2 for it. Carl says, hey, Rob, I think we all learned and turned a page when we took a whooping on those ducks and those dogs. Yeah, that's what happened, guys. You know, the, the market is constantly evolving. We're learning every day, every day, every day. And if we if we go back and we look at the lessons we've learned over the last two months, it, it's so obvious what's, you know, it's so obvious that nobody knows. <laughs> that's what's obvious, okay? I mean, if you think about it, like I said, two months ago, nobody was talking about comics. Now, over half the questions on the on the you know, stream or about comics until we have a huge drop like this, then it goes back to collectibles, but I guarantee it's going back to comics. You know, people are looking at things differently. People aren't FOMOing in as much. People aren't doing, aren't acting the way they were. People are getting more educated on this market and the market's changing constantly. So it's, um, yeah, people learn, you know, we learned our lesson. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, Roger Dodger dividends says, hello, thanks. I love that you like, my, I love it. Every time I say it, it just makes me laugh. I wanted to make a dividend investing channel, but never came around. Man, do it. It's easy. Just turn on a camera and point it at you and start talking. Tommy fan again says, I agree with holding down the fort. Walt, Todd, SR, Spidey, Pillars of Evie. Yep. Okay. I can can go with that. Uh, I would say I would throw Marvel Comic 1 in there. You know, if if I was doing that list, I would definitely have Marvel Comic 1 in there, but each their own. Test Me says, Woody has a shot of mooning. It has a lot of nostalgia for the majority of EV years. It's Pixar's first movie and just an overall classic that is uh, recognized worldwide and less puzzles is released. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Until the next thing's released. He's, he's Yeah, there's no telling how high he'll get. I think he can get up to five, 600 gems uh, pretty quick. I, I really do. I just think people are saying 1,000 gems. It's like, man, that, so you're telling me Woody is worth more than Donald and Daisy is what you're saying when you say that. And I just... I mean, to me, it's just, I, I don't understand. A Donald and Daisy gold moment to me is always going to be worth more than Woody, but I could be wrong. You know, I could absolutely be wrong. Uh, Roger Dodger says membership link. Um, It's on, it's on my, my homepage. Uh, I can't get to it right this second. Cause I'm in a, I'm in a different um, medium than YouTube, but it's on my homepage. It says join right there on the front of the page and you can, you can join up. It's $3.99 and you're registered for all the giveaways. I'll be doing a giveaway here in just a little bit. Kryptoni says Pixar Twister was crickets. Or Pixar Twitter was crickets on this drop. Disney doesn't promote anything. They drop on BB. When this happens, we will all be having different discussions. Until then, bear market. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch their Twitter. Hippobun says hi, Rob. Love your show. What would you go for? Two Supermans, Aston Martin, or R two? Um. Depends on what I would want, what I was looking to do. If you're looking for a long term, uh, I would probably go the Aston Martin just because there's so few of them. I don't think you're going to have a whole lot more time to get in them at these prices. I think once that thing gets over 10 grand with only 400 of them on the market, I don't think it comes back down very much. I don't, I just don't see a whole lot of people who are holding it, selling it a lot, you know? Um, second. I, I don't think you go wrong with R2 either, especially at these prices. Um, but, uh, Superman, if you're looking for things to flip, if you're looking, you want to get in and out, in and out, in and out, then I would go with the Superman's just cause Superman's just, he's all over the place. He's got that 2% selfie and you can, you can make a lot of money doing that. There are people who I think they just buy and sell Superman all day long. That's what it feels like. So I guess it depends on what you want to do, but, uh, for long term, I just think the, uh, I think the Aston Martin is going to be out of a lot of people's reach really soon. And it's not going to fluctuate as much as other things. Cause there's just so few of them, you know, there's just not a whole lot of them in existence. And I think the people who are holding them are holding it are going to consistently hold it, you know, but we'll see. I don't think you can go wrong with any of those three though. I think they're all excellent choices. <laughs> I sell JPEG says I bought the grade school granite code just because I wanted something with the SR tag. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. That thing I think is going to, uh, time will tell with it. Uh, I think it's, I think it's cool. And you know, if it ends up being like the first ever war project or anything like that, in NFT form that's, you know, mass adopted or something, you know, it could it could be super valuable, but uh, it could also end up just being another Ron English thing that people forget about on the app. You know, so I don't know, I don't know which one will be, but yeah, having an SR and I think does it complete a set by itself too? 
Might be really good for uh, for points. Diamond Ink OC says, once the popular Star Wars characters like Vader and Obi Wan and Obi Yoga, where would R two stand in price? You think at that moment SR Aston would be next to R two D two in price? Uh, I don't think those are going to do anything but help R two personally. I think those are going to help boost up R two. Um, where would R two stand in price? You think at the moment SR Aston would be next to R two in price? I, I'm not really sure what you're asking, Diamond. Uh, I don't think new characters coming out are going to hurt R2 very much. I just don't see people selling. I, I think that's, I think Star Wars collectors are going to sell everything else before they sell R2 and C-3PO to get the new drops, you know, in my mind. But I may be wrong. I don't know. I don't know how this market's going to work. Um, and do you think at that moment SR asked him would be next to R2 in price? Um, I, it depends. I mean, you're comparing apples to oranges, man. You have so many more R2s than you do Aston Martins. So I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm really not sure what your question is either. So maybe you could word it a little differently. Maybe I could give you a better opinion. Shaji says, Randy, who's Randy? <laughs> Hope you will, my GD. idea why there is still 98 remaining sunflowers to be sold or delivered. I have no idea. No clue. Maverick says, has there been an official sale on the 7 edition uh, DB5 Aston Martins? I heard one sold off market for seventy five thousand. I don't know if that's true. It's just a rumor I heard. Um, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't know if any of them have sold. That's a lot of gems, man. I don't know if anybody would ever buy one, but we'll see. I would love to have one, but I I wouldn't put. I just don't have the money to put on it. But if I was a millionaire, I'd probably try to grab one. Chaji says, "I mean, Rob, sorry, I was just caught up on Randy's stream. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, I mean, there's worse people to be compared to in the in the community than Randy Chavez, in my opinion. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see if we got any new amount announcements from Vivi. Let's go over to the official Twitter. See what's going on here. If you guys have more questions, drop them. If you guys want to join the membership, I'll be doing a membership giveaway here in just a little bit. Uh, we're still sitting ten away from a giveaway for the subscriber membership. So if you guys want to sub up, and uh, we'll do a membership for that here in a little bit. Seventy-eight people in here, so I'm sure ten of you aren't subbed. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, people doing some cool stuff with these balloons, man. Look at that. That's a pretty cool picture. <laughs> it's just flying over the in the mountains down the river. That's cool. Let's see what else we got. Um, VB asked, uh, which of these is your favorite to play with in AR? Pixel Pals, Black Panther, Steamboat Willie, or Spider-Man? Um, out of those options, because the car is not in there, I would probably go Spider-Man. What do you guys think? What do you guys answer? Oh, a lot of people saying Pixar Pals. So you can go take this uh, on their Twitter. Uh, the Deadpool comic. Oh yeah, I forgot we even had this this morning. <laughs> Did you guys get it? I didn't. Even, I wouldn't even wait for it. Uh, I, I don't even know what it's going for in the market. I haven't even looked at it. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. I got the Supergirl flying up by the balloons. I wish I had the patience to build out my my vault. I just don't. Have the, it takes me so long to put anything up. It's crazy. Well, that's cool. But it doesn't look like we have any new announcements or anything, so that's good, I guess. What does this do? I've been wanting to kind of play on here, too. Okay, look, this right here shows you um, my total NFT's worth and, like, what it's gone down to. Like, here it's saying it got down to 155 was the low point. So, yeah, see, if we look at it this way, okay, if it was down to 155, I must not have caught it at that exact moment. Because the lowest I ever saw it at was, like, 162 or something. Now, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. Uh, let me pull this down since you guys can see. But this is really cool. This is really, I like this. Okay, so it's showing that my account had got down to 155 on February 25th, uh, which is the lowest it ever got. And then right here in this dip, we're on here. It got down to 180. Uh, that was just a few days ago. That was four days ago. And right now it's sitting at 194. It had shot back up to 210. Uh, 
or 219. Yeah, I knew it got it got around right at 220. So that's pretty that's actually really close. And then you can look at the collectibles. Look at the collectibles. Okay, the collectibles, they swing way more. Look at my comics, though, guys. Comics have done nothing but go up. So, I mean, and I have a pretty good array of, especially like uh, Secret Rare and Ultra Rare comics. I mean, they just, that I like this graph way more than I like these two. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that just makes me even more bullish on comics for sure. That's cool. I just dropped another thousand gems while we were looking at this, but that's okay. New site looks really cool. He's doing a great job. Yeah, go support Omi the Clown, guys. He's doing, you know, I don't think he's making a lot of money for this, for what he's, you know, what he's doing. So definitely go support him. He's got some cool stuff. Let's see, where was I at? Uh, Shaggy says, buy, Rob, you know anyone selling gems looking to buy? No, I'm looking to buy too. So if anybody wants to sell gems or collectibles, I am buying. Uh, Roger Dodger says, follow, still unsure how to get membership. L O L. Is it through like Discord or Patreon? No, it's just right here on YouTube. Just go to YouTube. Go to my um, my page on YouTube. Let me show you. See if I can pull it up real quick. If you um. Hopefully this doesn't, let's see if I pause this. All right, I'm going to pull up the actual feed that you guys are looking at right now. This is me right here. If you go right here to where it says join, right there, you can join my membership. And guys, only 25 likes. Come on, guys, there's 89 of you guys in here. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, that's, that's where you can join the membership. And like I said, I will be doing a members-only giveaway here shortly. I couldn't have caught myself in a weird, look, weirder looking facial position, could I? <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you want to go join, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, guys, if you guys wouldn't mind getting that like count up too, I'd really appreciate that. Oh, we got a new follower on the app. Oh, we got a few new followers. All right, let's go through these real quick. If you guys want to follow me, like I said, go to the Fastos wall. If you guys haven't heard, um, Fastos, go rank from highest price to lowest. Follow all the 9.9 millions. It's a bunch of YouTube creators, a bunch of people who want uh, want people to follow them. They'll follow you back. And uh, we got some new ones. We got the Funky Monkey. You are followed the Funky Monkey. They got the Goofy, the uh, the Penguin, some Kripkins, Black Panther, one of the um, the Peely Puppets. I love the Peely Puppets. I think they're so cool. Um, Big Red Hobbs. Big Red Hobbs is now followed. Um, he says, just your average investor collector, Roger Dodger. There you go. I'm mainly in the comics, but I dabble in collectibles. I subscribe to VV Vault, Bud Thompson, VV Vision, Andrew Ellis, Dino Lang, Comics and Crypto, VV Vibe, Sleeping Comics, and VV3. What? Come on, man. I didn't even make the list. Ah, oh, my feelings, my feelings. <laughs> NFT to the moon says. Addicted to the drop, keep calm and keep collecting. Scare money, don't make money. That is true, my friend. He's got the Doctor Doom, Superman, some golden moments, lenticular cards. Wire collections look a lot alike. Cool looking collection, my friend. Gold, oh no, is that it? Yeah, I think I got everybody. So if you guys want to follow up, oh, no, got a few more. Um, Parda, Parda got the Spider Man at the top, VV Addict since November 2021. That's when I got in November 2021. Black Panther, Deadpool, uh, Green Goblin. I think that Green Goblin's so undervalued, guys. So undervalued. Uh, Donald Daisy, nice collection you got there, my friend. Oh, they got the whole set of um, the whole set from yesterday as well. Congrats, congrats. Gotta love it. Yeah, guys. If anybody else wants to follow me, go follow me. I will follow you back. All right. Well, hey, he did. He joined the membership. Thank you so much, Ryan Malone. I appreciate you joining the membership. You will be eligible for the uh, members only giveaway here shortly. Uh, Tight Bill says, would sell a Wally and Pluto to grab an Iron Man? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't sell two things that nobody knows if they're going to be worth more than the thing you're buying. Um, and I wouldn't pay that 8% fee. And if you're looking a whole long term, nobody knows what's going to be worth more. So why pay the 8% fee? Roger says, Roger, uh, you need a YouTube page on the laptop. Yeah, you can't do it through a phone, I don't think. I forgot to mention that. 
Parta says, did you finish your Pixar set? I don't know why Pixar is paper handed, but I got my first Disney set. Uh, no, I haven't finished the set yet. I um, I did buy two uh, Woody's and flip them. I got a few gems, made a few gems, and then um, I still have my um, my house, my up house from the drop. Uh, I'll complete the set probably in a week or two. I'm, I'm just waiting to see what the prices do. Also, maybe somebody will sell off app. If they do, I'll buy it there. Uh, Maverick says, comic drop was weird this morning. There wasn't a single W between Johnny Dunn and VB Vault stream, like five to 600 people. Yeah, we're just getting we're getting so many people. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, Jared says, "Always thought you were a cutie." Okay, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> when will dip ever end? What's the blame? Oh man, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, we we shot up over three hundred percent in a month, and then we dropped back down a hundred percent or two hundred percent. We're still up a hundred percent on just about everything on the app. So. You know, I don't, I don't know, you know, we're in a dip, but if you just zoom out, we're really not, we're not doing bad at all. If you look, you know, just look at the year. Sugar Shane says, how's your day? Great, man. Great, great, great. Uh, why can't I super chat? Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I have everything on correctly. I'm bad about that, guys. Sometimes I don't turn on my monetization because I'm stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I already pretty much don't make nothing. And then it's like, I don't even turn on monetization. Uh, I think it's on. I thought I did it earlier. Let's see. 97 people in here, guys. I need some likes and I need some subs. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate some likes and some subs. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, monetization is on. Um, you should be able to. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on there. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, though. I need to check into that. Brian says, hi, Rob. Love your show. Watch every night. Can you follow me back? The Funky Monkey. Yeah, I just followed you back, man. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, we got a couple more follows. Let's see who we got. Um... Or one more. We got uh, Mar London 2021. Remember since 2020, November 2021? Me too. Uh, you were followed. Got the stamp set. Got the secret rare Aston Martin. Got some motorcycles. Got C3PO there on the bottom of the page. Nice, nice, nice. I love those. You have a lot of the same collectibles I have. Yeah, guys, I'm up to 538 followers. I can't believe it. That's crazy. <laughs> What's up, status says, can you check Deadpool common chart for me? Uh, what's the all-time low? Yeah, let's check it out. Deadpool common. Uh, let's see, dash. Wait, got to go to graphs. Like I said, guys, I'm just learning this new. This just got updated like today. Deadpool. Oh, man, they come up quick. I like it. I like it a lot. Good job, only the clown. Deadpool, you said the common. All-time low. Um, this is actually his all-time low. Was it uh, 65 gems? But um, I wouldn't go off of that just because that was way back right after he dropped. I would I would consider his all-time low to be right where he just was, which would be 70, 72. Um, but his chart looks really good. I know the price doesn't look good because his all-time high is 295. But look at the chart. Look at the seller chart. We've got less sellers now than we've ever had. I think this is a great buying opportunity for this. I think eventually people are going to say, I'm not selling this anymore. Keep in mind, guys, there's 19,000 of these available. So there's a lot of these available. But um, if you're looking to buy, I, I do believe it's a very good buy point. Not Nobody's talking about this right now. Nobody's thinking about it. And that's usually the best time to buy. And also, um, like I said, the price is pretty much real close to its all-time low. I mean, what's what? what's your risk versus reward? Okay, what's it going to do? Drop back down to its all-time low? You know, you're going to lose what, 17, 18 bucks, something like that? Or is it going to go back to its all-time high where you make, you know, 200? I think the risk reward there is really good. I like the fact that no new sellers are coming in. Uh, I think it's a great buy. I wouldn't sell at this price, but I definitely would consider buying at this price if I was in the market for one. Bile says, why do you think Aston, SR Aston Martin will be more valuable than Todd or R2D2? It is scarce, but cars haven't done so well yet. 
Uh, the scarcity and the fact that it's Aston Martin. I mean, Aston Martin is one of the most collectible car cars in the world. There's only 400 of them. Um, so, you, you, you know, you say besides the scarcity, but the scarcity is the big thing. You say cars haven't done so well, um, but we've got a lot of car. You know, like the DeLoreans, there's a ton of them. There's a ton of DeLoreans. Uh, the only other car we have in the app is the um, the Ecto-1, and I just, you know, I don't think people really like it. I mean, I know it's way more limited, but it's not near this limited. Um, you know, Todd, there's 7,000 of them, you know, and or 7,500 of them, and people just flip them and flip them and flip them because they're, you know, they're that 2% flipper fee. Um, I don't know that it'll be more valuable than Todd or R2 uh, long term. Those two could definitely be more valuable. I just think you're going to have more time to buy Todd and R2 at these prices or around these prices than you're going to have to buy that car because it's so scarce and because people hold it. So um, I'm, I'm not knocking Todd or R2 when I say that. It's just a scarcity. It's 100% the scarcity. That's what it is, is the scarcity. Because it's so scarce, they're going to get into the hands of people who are going to hold them way quicker. So I just think the prices are going to shoot up faster. In my personal opinion, that's the gamble I'm taking. Um, also, the Aston Martin's a ton of fun. I was like going on my, I went for my run last night and I just stopped for like 30 minutes and just on the road was driving him up and down. I parked him next to, I needed, I, I'm trying to get better with this. I do like some videos and stuff, but like I was charging my Tesla last night and I had it backed into the spot next to the Tesla. It was like, it was so cool, but it's too dark to take a picture. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that. It's just so much fun, man. And I think people really enjoy it. I don't think people are going to sell it. Sugar Shane says, my gym guy can sell tomorrow. He sent too many today, so tomorrow he will be getting more gems. All right, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to buy some. Um, if he wants to do it, too, we could do. We could always do it through uh, through collectibles. That's another way you can do it. If you guys don't know how to do that, all you do is you get like a Kripken or something and just list it for however many gems you want to uh, buy. They You pay the person and they send you, um, they send you the, uh, they buy the, whatever from you. And that's how you get the gems. That's how you get past that. That's how whales move money in the app. Shaji says, Rob, uh, you're held accountable for that massive sell wall on fast toast. Imagine we get one whale that buys them all at 9.9. If we get one whale that buys them all at 9.9, you are not going to be able to buy one thing on this app <laughs> because everybody's just going to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, that would be absolutely insane. Melanie says, do Y O rub O. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's something cryptic that I'm missing. D-Y-O Rubbo. I have no idea. <laughs> Oops, sorry for the typo. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, I have no idea what you're trying to say. Ryan, once again, thank you for becoming a member, guys. If you want to become a member, I'm going to be doing the members giveaway probably around 3 o'clock, uh, 2.45, something like that. If you want to join the members giveaway, please do. If we get, uh, we get over 100 people in here, I will be doing a giveaway for that. And if we get up to... Um, if we get nine more subs, I'll be giving away, uh, doing another giveaway. So possible of three giveaways today, guys. All we got to do is sub, get some new people in here, and um, we're for sure doing the members giveaway. So if you want to join that, you're more than welcome. Uh, Clint says, good afternoon, Rob. I uh, hope your day is going well. My, my day is going great, buddy. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing as well as I am because I'm having a wonderful day. Sugar Shane says so many things are undervalued. Yeah, I agree with you. M says is ultimate fallout rare a good buy. I think it is. I think all the ultimate fallouts are a very good buy right now. Um, I think that's going to be one of those comics that is just going to keep going up. I mean, if we look at my comic chart on here earlier that you guys saw, I mean, comics are just, I feel like they're the safest thing in the app. I really do. But uh, let's check out, uh, let's check him out. Also, because I need to learn how to do this, use this new site better. I like this so much better than the old site, though. Oh, it came up real quick. There it is. Ultimate Fallout 4, and you said the rare. Let's see if it's a good buy. It's down $10 in the last, or up $10 in the last 24 hours. Uh, Yeah, man, I don't see anything about this chart that makes me think it's going to, like, go down. I mean, look at this. The sellers have fallen off consistently. We got almost as few sellers as we've ever had. Um, it's all time high right here. Uh, it's not coming up for some reason. Well, we can look at it though. It was, it was about 628 was its all time high. And, um, it's only down like what, 40%, 35% from that point right now. And most everything else on the apps down like 60, 70% from that point. I think this is a great buy. I think this is a great hold. 
I think this is going to end up being one of those possible grails in the very long in the future that we were talking about earlier. Uh, I do have the ultra rare. I would love to get the secret rare. I don't think you can go wrong, especially if you're looking to hold it long term. I mean, it will fluctuate like everything else in the app. But as you can see, it doesn't have near the fluctuations or swings in price that everything else in the app has. And that seller mark is just going down and down and down, which means they're going in the hands of people who aren't going to trade them. So, um, yeah, I think it's a great buy. Virtual Box Break says, hey, Rob, have you thought about running auctions for your members? I think it would be a great thing for us collectors. We can buy amongst ourselves and get deals and avoid peace. Um, Man, I wouldn't mind doing it. I just don't have time, guys. I wish I did. I wish I had more time. I mean, I wish I had time to escrow for you guys. I wish I had time to do all that. I just don't have time. You guys got to realize I'm running a business that's growing like crazy on top of doing this. Uh, but yeah, that would be great. I mean, if, you know, I would definitely, if someone wanted to set it up, I would definitely help with it, you know, but I just don't have the time to set it all up and do all that. Uh, <laughs> laugh it at the cutie cat. Yeah, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to come off with, I didn't know how to respond to that. Um, <laughs> Trigger Shade says, sell Donald and Daisy for Lady and the Tramp or wait for them to run more and then pick up. And I wouldn't sell Donald and Daisy. I wouldn't sell that. Um, I wouldn't pay the 8% fee. Uh, <laughs> Craig says, if you were a PB collectible, I'd buy me a man. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> JJ says, what price did you buy? What are you at? Uh, I got two of them yesterday. I bought it two, one in the two twenties and one in, at like right at two thirty, And then I, I sold them at three, I think three eighteen and three fourteen or something like that. I don't remember the exact, I could look it up. I, I don't remember the exact numbers. Uh, I mean, they were good though. They were quick flips. It didn't take long. What's it going for now? What's it? Is it still bouncing all over? Three seventeen. So it's gone down a little bit. It was at uh, three thirty earlier. Not super thick floors till we get up to the 330. So, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. If it gets down to like 280 again, I'll probably buy in again. Um, I don't know if it'll be just for a flip or what, but I feel like it's, you know, I, I do feel like it's still a good buy at 330. I think these are going to go up, guys. I'm not saying that. It's just I didn't understand people saying that they thought it was going to go for a thousand yesterday. Um, but I do think they're going to go up. They'll get there eventually. It's just going to take time. Hey, we got a new member, guys. Nina Solito de Solis. Thank you so much for joining the membership. I really appreciate it. You will be eligible for the members giveaway here in just a little bit. BMN says, way I see it, uh, weekly trading for VV Monday to Thursday. Hold, Friday sell, Saturday try drops, and Sunday buy again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That might be the, that might be the way to go. Clint says, Rob, in your opinion, do you feel that uh, Black Panther are common, uncommon, or rare will dip more? Um, Probably. I think they probably will. People, It feels like people's, um, people's mindset is getting away from Black Panther right now. So I do think we are probably going to have that dip that we usually see, you know, a month out or whatever. Um, I do think Black Panther is going to be huge, uh, you know, long term. And you said the common, uncommon. I mean, my goodness, the uncommon is already sitting at 51 gems. I don't know how cheap you want it for. It's like a dollar, a dollar over where it was originally sold at. I don't think you go wrong. It's just you got to get these flippers out, these sellers out. See how we haven't had any drop in this seller right here? You got to get the sellers out. That's the key to this. Um, so, yeah, it's probably a really good time to be buying these, to be honest. People aren't talking about it. People aren't thinking about it. And it's just gradually going to drop this number. And as it does, you know, the price should gradually start to come up. So it's probably a good time to be accumulating these. I really want that secret rare, but um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I mean, we still have more sellers coming in. I, But I mean, the bottom line is, guys, first appearance of Black Panther. But we also have to keep in mind how many of these there are. There's a ton of these. Uh, that This was one of the largest mints we've ever had of a Marvel character. So or I think it is the largest mint we've ever had a Marvel character. So it's going to take a long time, guys. It's going to take a long time to get these in the hands of people who aren't going to flip them. Melanie says, yes, just wait until the beginning of May. Doctor Strange movie, May the 4th. I'm sure we'll get something good then. Yep, more gem squeezes. <laughs> and see, that's when, see what Melanie just said? 
that's when nobody's going to care about Woody anymore. And that's when you're going to be able to buy these things cheap, in my opinion, is when that happens. I mean, it's just the way it's working, guys. You know, it's almost like if you go, um, you know, two months behind on the app and you stay two months behind and you're buying the drops from two months ago when everybody's buying the new thing, that's when you get the good prices from everything I'm seeing. Uh, Comics fan says, which do you think is a sleeper grail to buy right now? Uh, sleeper grails right now. I think, uh, the Aston Martin secret rare, I think, um, any of the first appearance, uh, I'm not saying these are grails. I'm saying these are sleeper grails. These could be one day, um, that are fairly cheap would be maybe like, mm, the mid tier golden moments, uh, some of the comics, some of the uh, first appearance comics, things like um, I think Ghost Rider. If Ghost Rider gets turns into a big thing in the MCU, which I think is a great character that really could, I think Ghost Rider is a sleeper for sure right now uh, since it just released. Possibly the Black Panther Secret Rare. Uh, I wouldn't really consider that a grail, but um, it could be one day. You know, it could be. Um, so yeah, I mean that's a few. King Con says, "Hey Rob, sorry I'm late. <laughs> no problem, man." No problem. All the rest of us, we're just, we're just early. You're on time. Bus says, says, I followed you yesterday. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Sugar Shane says, so I'm expecting the Pixar to cool off and pick up after next drop. I don't see people not taking profits and into holders. Yeah, yeah, people are going to take profits. People are for sure going to take profits. We're seeing it. Uh, it's, it's happening. I will say this about Woody, though. There are less people... Um, it, there's less Woody's for sale right now than we've seen, but I think that also could have to do with market sentiment. That could have to do with how people are playing the flipping game too. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going in the hands of people who are holding. Uh, Matthew says, I think we need to different, uh, differentiate. I know I can say that word. It just took me a second. Grail and blue chip. Walt, um, Secret Rare Spidey are grails, and the other golden moments, Superman are blue chips. Woody may be a blue chip at some point. Yeah, I mean, that's your opinion. It's all it's all um, speculative. Nobody knows. You know, to, to argue what is a grail or what is a blue chip is completely pointless because it's nothing but opinion. There is no fact or truth to any of it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just what people say. I mean, when you say grail, you're comparing things to, like I said, the holy grail, the cup of Christ. And when you say blue chip, you're talking about stock markets. So, I mean, it's two totally different comparisons. Real Ray says, hey, Rob, can you check out Supergirl Cover Girls 2? Um, yeah, it's going straight down. <laughs> don't, don't buy it. <laughs> Not financial advice, but don't buy it. Um as an investment. If you're buying it because you love it, that's different. Um, we got to go to graphs. Supergirl. Collectibles. Okay. Still learning this. Still learning this site this way, guys. So you bear with me a minute. Supergirl. She's up $5 in the last... Uh, in the last 24 hours. But, I mean, there's just nothing about this that's... I, I, there's no way I would put money in this if it were me personally. Um... If I owned it, I'd be trying to get out of it. I mean, it's just, it doesn't have anything distinguishing it from every other Supergirl we're ever going to have on the app. And when the next big thing, Supergirl, comes out, nobody's going to ever care about this thing again. Um, you know, if you're a collector and you want to collect it, that's great. If you love it, that's great. If you like taking pictures with it, you know, do that. But if you're looking for an investment, there's no way I would hold this or no way I would buy this. Um, just my personal opinion. But uh, that's just... I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want anything to do with it. I just don't see it doesn't have an FA, it doesn't have an FE, it doesn't have any type of tag that's gonna make it exclusive when we have another cooler supergirl come out. Everybody's gonna want that one. Everybody's gonna forget about this one. Uh Ben Jazz says, Did you see Sleepin's latest video about MCP? Seems like he's getting MCP a bit more uh, so he doesn't have to play catch up when it gets launched. How much focus do you give MCP these days? I, I don't care about it at all. Um, I think it's a way to move things that don't move as well on the app, uh, which I think is a smart business move by by Vivi, but I think that's exactly what it is. Uh, that being said, I did watch his video, and he made one point that I really like that made me like care a little bit about it, and that is about renting uh, later on in the future. But uh, I don't think, you know, MCP, as far as getting drops, I think it's just people wishing is all it is. I don't, it's not going to help you get drops. It's just not. Uh, in my opinion, I don't see how. I mean, the bottom line is you're going to be still competing against 2 million people 
for 30,000 collectibles. Uh, you know, it's not going to make more collectibles. So I don't see how it's going to make your odds any better to get drops. But um, I do like the MCP for the fact that you'll be able to rent stuff out. So um, that is that is something I'm looking at. But it was a great video. I agree. You made an awesome video. Go follow Sleeping Comics. Go watch that video. You know, get other people's perspectives and then just mine for sure, especially when it comes to MCP because – I look at MCP as a um, as a marketing tactic to sell things that people normally wouldn't buy, which is why they want you to complete sets. You know, they want you to complete sets because they want you to buy the cheap stuff in the set that nobody, nobody would collect otherwise. That's the whole point. They want you to invest your money in the things that are worth less, you know, to keep those things up in value. That's why they do it, you know, from a business standpoint. No business ever just gives you something, guys. There's always something for them. So um, that's the way I look at MCP. But that being said, I could be completely wrong, you know, and... um. My collection is big enough that I still get like 325 MCP points a day anyway, just the way I collect. But it's just I'm not going to go buy sets or buy, you know, certain comics for MCP points. That's not how I'm going to do it. Hey, we got a new member, guys. Roger Dodger. He made it. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Maverick says, I unfollowed and followed you back on VV because I don't think you're following me back. <laughs> Let me check it, man. Sorry about that. I do miss people. I know I miss people because uh, you get loaded up with so much stuff. Let me see. Maverick, there you are. I am following you, Maverick. I was already following you. Uh, it says, un see how it says unfollow? I so I was already following you. I thought I was. That's cool, though, man. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. Who have I missed? Finny, I already got you. Marcus, I already got you. Marcus, I'm already following you. Um, Slider, 233. Okay, I'm already following you, Slider. Uh, Geminator, I'm already following you. Okay. All right, I think I'm caught up. But if anybody else wants to follow me, go find the Fast Coast Wall. Or if you just want to follow me in particular, you can go to... Um, I know it's hard to search that wall. Go to us, uh, uh, Ben Riley Spider Man Ultra Rare number 511, listed for 999,000. And I will follow you back and give you a shout out right here. Book says the Aston Martin is undervalued, in my opinion. Uh, it has some something in real life you can compare it to. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's very undervalued. I think it's just so scarce. You know, there's two things you want on this app to, to be the perfect combination that's scarcity and popularity. And to me, that's one of the most scarce, most popular things on the app. Junior Sambino says, what's up, Rob? Not much, brother. How you doing? Do you ever buy in the market uh, post-drop, but before all collectibles have been distributed? Messed up yesterday about Mikey at 90. Yeah, I used to. Um, I don't anymore. Um, unless I can, like, right after the drop, what I try to do now is just mint hunt. You know, try to find good mints at the floor, basically, is what I try to do. Um, it doesn't, um, uh, always work out yesterday. I did buy a, a, a up house and I overpaid for it. I didn't get a good mint. I just, I don't, I just wanted to buy something. I knew it was probably the wrong move at the time. I'll probably end up flipping it eventually. Um, but after everything was released yesterday, you know, that's when I started making moves, but I really am going to start just waiting until, you know, a couple weeks after the drop. Cause we just haven't had a drop. We haven't had a drop since steamboat Willie four months ago that, just went up and stayed up. Every drop we've had is dropped on the next drop. Um, the only reason Steamboat Willie did it is, first of all, everybody considered it to be a grail at the time, which a lot of people's opinions have changed on that, whatever. But also, we didn't have a lot of big drops between Steamboat Willie and, you know, for like a month. And that's when we went on that huge bull run. And, um, you know, I just don't see that happening anytime soon. So I'm just going to wait. I just, you know, I, I'm in no hurry. I, I, my collection is where I want it to be. My collection looks amazing to me. I love where my collection's at. So uh, the only way I'm adding right now is if it's extreme value. And I just, I, well, I think those are cheap from yesterday. It's just not things that I feel like I'm in a big hurry to buy. Bob says, what kind of business do you have? Uh, I sell collectibles, physical collectibles on uh, Amazon and eBay. Um, our new member. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Guys, go join the membership. We're going to be doing a membership giveaway in the next 30 minutes at some point. And, uh, yeah, you do have to be present to win, though. That's the only thing. You have to be present, but every member is available to or is capable of winning. Hey, guys, we're at 100 subs, so I am going to run to the restroom real quick, and then I'm going to do a giveaway for the 100. Or, I'm sorry, 100 people watching. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, sorry about that. I got a sick kiddo, too, so I had to go check on them real quick. Um, All right, let's do a giveaway, guys. Uh, let's give away a comic. And if you guys don't know how I do giveaways here, it's pretty simple. What we are going to do, I am going to find a collectible. I'm going to give you the name of that collectible. I'm going to give you the number of that collectible, and you are going to give me the price of that collectible. And the first person to tell me the price is going to win a comic. We are going to go with... So everybody get your app out. Everybody get your app open. Hmm. We are going to do... Rewind Collective Logo number 1849. Rewind Collective Logo number 1849. First person to put the price in is going to win... A comic. And if you've already won, please do not participate because I want to give it to someone else. Seven fifty nine is the correct answer. Cheesemo. Cheesemo, longtime viewer of the channel. So glad you won, man. Uh, hit me up on Twitter and I will be sending you a comic. <coughs> and the comic you were going to be getting, which I didn't even tell you guys, is going to be one of the ones I've, I've been stacking up for the giveaways. So you'll be getting a... If my app will load. It is Miss Marvel. Is the Miss Marvel uncommon? So that's what you're going to be getting, cheese most. So hit me up on Twitter, and I'll get that sent out to you. Thank you everyone for playing. Uh, that was for having 100 people in here. I am still doing another one. Uh, if we stay over 100 viewers, I will be doing another one later. Um, I'm also going to be doing another giveaway if we can get the sub count up to 32.25 by the end of the stream. So we need seven more subs. So if you guys don't mind subbing, we can do another giveaway. Get seven of them real quick. I'll do another giveaway right now. We got 105 people in here. I know people, I know we don't have 100. I, I know all of you aren't sub because whenever I look at it, it says like 20% or 25% of people are actually sub that watch. So if you guys don't mind doing that, I'll be doing another giveaway for that. Also going to be still doing our um, members only giveaway here in a little bit. So if you guys want to get in on that, it's $3.99 a month and you can win every month or every day. So it's pretty cheap to be able to win every day. All right, where were we at, guys? Uh, Jerry Clue says most big comic collectors agree on the top 25 books. Yeah, yeah, they seem to. Uh, they might, you know, put the order a little different, but it seems that um, at top 50, yeah. Sugar Shane says a lot of bots get these drops coming from a gym dealer. He runs 100 accounts and hit 20% of drops from the Pixar to comics. The bots control the market until they flip out the collectibles. I completely disagree. Completely disagree. Uh, the, the, they, the team has told us that... Uh, Bots are way they uh, that bots are way over um, people. People on social media give bots way too much credit for what they actually do. They said they stop most bots, and uh, yeah, I, I choose to believe them. They they see the data, uh, and they say that it's way over exaggerated on uh, social media. People to me, guys, bots are an excuse, and if you don't like that, I'm sorry. That's just my thoughts. I'm never going to use them as an excuse. There are too many ways you can make a lot of money on this app to just try to look for excuses. Instead of looking for excuses, go look for the ways you can make money. Yo, Crypto says, Recurve forever. Man, I got my pass. And I didn't even use it. I've completely forgot about it. Clint says, Rob, for your members giveaway, do you do it normal way? VV app, find something and give the price. Uh, it depends. I do it different ways depending on what I feel like doing that way. If you guys want me to do them a different way, I can do them a different way. It's just I find that to be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, a lot of times that's that's how I'll do it. Jerry says top one percent in scarcity plus demand are grails. It's what everyone calls them. No offense to the fake cup of Christ. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am I am I not a Christian, so you're not hurting my feelings at all. Uh, top one percent in scarcity. I mean, that's still that's not. There's no definition for it. 
that's not the, the i mean that's you know that's your definition that's that's fine everybody's got their different definition jerry says mcp is junk yeah i kind of agree with you there uh life on the blockchain says what about a happy whistle mickey mouse collection they don't have any tags uh yeah but i still think they're going to be good uh long term jerry clue says uh active comics uh, action comic number one is equals grail yeah i agree with you i agree with you um <laughs> mcp and vv letting rich get richer I mean, we'll see. Everybody's speculating on how it'll work. I just see it right now as just a way to keep people to, you know, buying the stuff that's not going to be as valuable. I agree with this, Jerry. Amazing Fantasy 15 will be a grail, or is a grail. Chris Duke says, my collection is down so bad. Any advice for people who are holding their bags on a lot of collectibles that are significantly down, hang in, or sell now? It depends on what you're holding. I mean, if you're holding things that you have a lot of confidence in, then I would say hold on. If you're, uh, if you're holding a lot of things that you don't feel like you're going to go up in value. I would say you might might be time to get out. It just depends on what you're holding. Um, Jerry's determined to tell us what everything he thinks is a grail is. <laughs> I agree with you though. First Captain Mary is probably a grail. Uh, Edson says, "Sell now if you can't afford to hold." Yeah, do not invest more than you can afford to lose either. Life on the block changes. Is Steamboat Willie a grail? What do you think will happen to it? I don't know if it's a grail, but I think it's going to do well long term if you hold it, you know, for a long time. I just don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, Steamboat Willie's up, um, you know, it, it dropped. It was sixty bucks on the drop uh, three months ago, and now it's selling. You know, the the secret rare or the ultra rare selling for three thousand. So I mean, that's a five hundred percent or yeah, five hundred percent increase in three months. I mean, I think it's doing really well. So, I mean, but it depends on how you look at it. If you bought in at 9,000, then yeah, it's down. But if you look at, it's only been out for three months and it's up, you know, and it's up that much. I mean, to me, that's amazing. So I, I think it's going to be great. Yo, Crypto says every comic drop since the early ones are all trash. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's your opinion. I think, I think the first appearances have a good chance of, um, of doing something, but yeah, we are all welcome to our opinion. WhatsApp status says, I think historically Steamboat Willie UR has more significance than anything on Vivi. Probably it's just time when crazy Disney fans join Vivi. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I'm holding all of mine. I mean, guys, it's up tremendously since it released. Tremendously. So I don't know why everybody's like hating on Steamboat Willie so much. I mean, it's it's doing great. Mm, Cheesemo, appreciate it. Oh, no problem, man. Uh, sure says, what is reward? <laughs> Rewind Collective. Yeah, I try to pick random stupid stuff. <laughs> Cheese mode so fast, he even typed the decimal. Yep. <laughs> Junior found it. There you go, buddy. Uh, can you do a wheel, please? I'd rather not. It takes too much time. Uh, Karazima says, what's your VB birthday? Uh, I think it's like the end of October. My first drop I ever did was, uh, I'd, I could look it up. My first ever drop I did was uh, the Storm Drop. Virgil Broxbreak says, I agree, it's easy to blame bots, but I know at least one person who gets the drop each time, so bot argument is BS. Uh, VV doesn't get enough credit for the bot problem they're handling. Yeah, I agree 100%. I mean, I get I get drops all the time, too. I get almost every collectible drop, you know? Uh, so it's just people making excuses. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> Simone Johnson says, Rob, do you still do Amazon FBA or do you plan on posting any more beginner videos? Great content. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I do FBA. I, um, it's, it's just, I can't do the videos on here because it ruins the algorithm. <laughs> it absolutely ruins the algorithm. And the original reason I started this channel was to teach people how to do FBA. That was the whole point of it because I really do think FBA can make everyone a millionaire on the planet. I think it's very possible. Um, for those of you who don't know what Amazon FBA is, it's when you um, you send items into an Amazon warehouse. They store all your items for you. They ship all your items for you, uh, and that's the majority of my business, you know. And um, yeah, it's I think it has the ability to make everyone on the planet rich. <laughs> that was my original purpose of starting this channel, uh, but it just it evolved into a Pokemon channel, and then it turned into a VB channel. So I really do. I would still want to get that information out there because I think it's so valuable to people. I just it kills it if it kills the whole channel if I try to do them all on the same channel, and I just don't have the time to build another channel. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, yeah, learn FBA guys. Learn fulfillment by Amazon. Fulfillment by Amazon can make you rich. 
that's a fact. It made, I'm not going to say I'm rich, but it made me a lot of money. It still makes me a lot of money every day. Sugar Sane says, when you talk to botters and see the success, it's hard to say it's not happening. Believe what you want. I just know multiple people from the bot world. Run. No, I know it's happening. There's nothing I can do about it, and I don't care. There's other ways to win. You have bots and everything. You have, you know, I'm in the toy business, what I do for a living. And every toy that comes out, every collectible that comes out, everything, there's always bots. And you know what? I still make over a million dollars a year because I don't care. I, I can't do anything about it. I play fair. I'm not going to worry about things I can't control. It doesn't matter to me. I couldn't care less. If there's bots. Let them be bots. I don't, I'm going to make my money on the aftermarket. I'm still going to make my money because I'm going to do my research and I'm going to play the things I can control. I, I I don't like bots. I don't want anything to do with bots, but I couldn't care less about the bots because there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing VB can do about it. If anybody who thinks VB is going to ever stop bots is just, they're just making excuses. That's all they're doing. You can't stop them. The only way they're ever going to be stopped is if the government passes a law saying they're illegal. If they ever pass a law saying they're illegal, then they can stop them. Until then, Nike, Amazon, Google, uh, Sony, all those companies have tried, and all those money companies have way, way, way more money than VB's ever going to have. So, and they can't stop them. So, you know, I just, I, I could, I don't care. That's why I don't bring it up. That's why I don't like hearing about it, and that's why I don't like people talking about it all the time because it's just spreading fud that there's nothing we can do about it. They've, they said they've already banned 300,000 accounts, and they said that it's not near not near as many get through as people make it out to be like online. I have no reason not to believe them. So I just, like I said, I just don't care. Uh, ben Jazz says the comics are the great barometer of where Marvel Disney is focusing their marketing. If you look at them as a way to measure what's important to Disney, then by definition, they... The comics are a great barometer of where Marvel Disney spoke in the market. Yeah, that is very true. If you um go watch my collectibles, who's always on the channel, uh, my good friend Aaron, he's always doing stuff like that. And he's always uh, telling you like what it's telling you for the MCU and stuff. And man, he's been so right. He's been so right. And guys, if you want to if you want to see it coming to fruition already, go look at like uh let me show you guys something real quick. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing right now, but give me a second. Um, if we go, if we go right here to Storm, Storm was released what in November or end of October, or beginning of November, something like that. And look at what her name is. Look at the rare Storm. Look at what her name is. Her name is the Queen of Wakanda. Okay, and when she came out, everybody was like, that's not Storm. Because the Storm we all know is Halle Berry, okay? That's not Storm. Look at her hair. Nobody liked it. Nobody liked this Storm at all when it came out. It stayed really cheap for a long time. Then we had the announcement that there's going to be the new Wakanda Forever movie and that she was uh, married to Black Panther, which makes her the queen of Wakanda. This was put out in, let's see, what, November? When was this originally released, does it say? November 20th, okay? So this was before anybody that I know of even knew about the movie, and that's why everybody was just like, oh, this is a horrible release. Everybody hated it. It just stayed in the dumps forever. But it's called The Queen of Wakanda, you know? And it's like, that's how far ahead we are on their marketing. So think about it. What does that mean for the MCU? They're dropping these hints, you know, six, eight months in advance. You know, there's a reason they're releasing what they're releasing. They're releasing all this stuff for a reason. So, um yeah, it's, it's very interesting to see that. It's a very good point. Zed says people crying about not getting drops on their own drops. Five thing. That, that has nothing to do with it, guys. You're just competing against so many people. I mean, that's just what it boils down to. Clint says, do you need a lot of money to start FBA? Not at all. Nope. All you got to do is learn how to use the uh, Amazon Seller Central app. And uh, it's it's super, super easy, man. Super easy. Uh, you know, you can start with you can start with the Amazon Seller Central app. You can go to Walmart and buy your first inventory and be going. You know, it does take a little while to set up. Uh, you got to set up your account and all that stuff, which takes a while, you know, like a month or so. But once you have everything set up, it's really easy to make money. Uh, Dakota Strange says, shoot, I'm about to go back and watch your old videos. Yeah, there's some still up. Um, like I said, guys, I would love to do them. I would absolutely love to do them. I just don't know how to, I just don't know how to do it with the, first of all, my time, because all my time is going into VB right now. But, uh, but yeah, you, you can make a lot of money, guys. A, a lot, of, and it's legit too. 
just uh, be really careful going to YouTube. And this is another reason I want to make my channel. A lot of people who are telling you how to make money on Amazon on YouTube, I don't think they're making a lot of money on Amazon on YouTube because they don't, this is the stuff they tell you. It's like they're trying to get you to sign up for a bunch of stuff. It's like they want to make money as a promote, you know, on YouTube, trying to tell you they know how to make money on Amazon. I know how to make money on Amazon. That's why I wanted to make the videos, you know, because it's, um, it's, let me show you guys something just to show you guys that I'm not full of it. Um, Okay, uh, my year-to-date sales on Amazon, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is from January 1st, okay? While I've been, okay, now keep in mind, I've made a, I've been on YouTube every day for the last, at least all of February and March, okay? So in the last, I don't know if I can make this focus. That's just YouTube sales. I mean, I'm sorry, Amazon sales, 106,000 Amazon sales in the last two and a half months. Then if we go, uh, last 12 months, now this is, this is just this one Amazon account. Last 12 months of sales, 722K. Then if we go to eBay, which eBay, I can only show you guys the last 30 days. Last 30 days of eBay sales, 101,000. So guys, anybody who tells you there's not money in it doesn't know what they're talking about. But you have to know, you have to know the basic steps. And I I'm not showing you guys that to brag. I'm showing you guys that to let you know that there are ways you can make a lot of money out there without having a normal job. That's so I hope nobody took that the wrong way. But uh if anyone wants to learn and is like serious about learning, uh let me know because I would love to help people. I've actually helped a few people uh learn how to do it. And I don't want anything for it. I just want to help people improve their lives. And you can really improve your life if you learn how to do that. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but most things in life are. Diamond Inc. says, think bots have made more money on the secondary with low mint drops and low price collectibles by low so high. Yeah, maybe. Like I said, I don't care. It doesn't affect me at all. Slider says, hope your kid feels better. Mine was sick last week. My wife is just feeling better, but it hit me hard today. So I'm watching YouTube all day and sniping. There you go, buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, they're not feeling good at all. They um, had a sore throat last night, and running a pretty bad fever too. I was kind of worried about them, so I just went and checked. But I think I think they're doing better now. Ben Jazz says the comics are a great barometer for where. Oh yeah, we just read that. Uh, Jeff says bots are a problem, but even with bots, I'm still five eight uncollectible ops. Yeah. Chris says uh, about yeah, I couldn't care less, guys. Why why focus on the things you can't control when you can make a fortune focusing on the things you can? I don't. To me, they're nothing but an excuse. That's all they are is an excuse for people. Uh, that's someone else. Uh, here, here, here. I agree. <laughs> Uh, sure. Shane says, I get, I get why you get mad. It makes sense. Didn't mean to upset all. No, it's not that. I just want people to understand, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad. I just, I don't care. That's the thing. I don't want it on my channel. Cause I, you know, if you want to go talk about bots, go talk to Dino. Dino loves talking about bots, you know? Uh, so yeah, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm just, I don't know. It's just not what I'm about. Uh, <laughs> Tucson says, I always press buy now too early. Yeah, that that happens. Um, use uh use SpaceGate if you're doing the collectibles. You know, if you're doing a blind box for collectibles, I do really well with SpaceGate. Not really well. Uh, Junior says consider investing in a new phone for drops, but VV may start the new waiting room drop system. Uh, I think it's worth investing um in uh, specifically for VV drops. Uh, you know, my girlfriend's got an iPhone six or seven, and she gets drops all the time. So I don't know if that's really it. I mean, you just gotta. You just got to clean out your phone first, be close to your router, and um, just get your timing down. I think that's more what matters. I mean, she gets them as much as I do, so, and I have an iPhone, you know, I have the newest iPhone, so. Cheesemo says, sent the message on Twitter and gave you a follow. Maybe, okay, cool, man. Let me, um, let me go give this, send you your comic real quick. No one, is that you? No one. 
All right, let me give you a comic. Get this sent out to you guys. We're going to be doing the members only giveaway here in about, I don't know, six minutes or so. So if you guys want to join the membership, go ahead. And I'll be doing that here in a little bit. Like I said, there's not a lot of members that, um, you know, are, are are usually here. And you have to be here to win. So. All right. Let's see. Uh, 219602. All right, it has been sent, man. Thank you for participating. I really appreciate it. Skate Junkie says, what I miss? All kinds of stuff, man. Having a wonderful day. Thank you for being here, Skate Junkie. Dr. Strange, or Dr. Dr. Strange says, yeah, I want to sell us courses. Been trying to get into that, but don't trust the tubers. Yeah, I don't really want to sell courses either. And you know, I don't want to make money off of it. I just want to help people. And I just, it's, you make a lot of money, guys. There, there, there's an if you have a nine to five job working for somebody else, there is an easier way to make money if you're willing to put in the work. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, you know. And that's another thing people think it's get rich quick. It's not get rich quick, but it is get rich. Um, <laughs> gonna need that Rob Court, yeah. <laughs> uh, Clint says I'll be watching your old videos. Then we'll come with questions after I research a bit. Oh man, I yeah. Everybody wants to be taught. But, you know, the thing is, I've taught a few people. Most people don't stick with it. You got to have a passion for it. Um, you got to really have a passion for it. You got to have long term goals. And um, a lot of people don't have that, you know, and that's also why I'm so good at not worrying about what Vivi's doing right now, because I have a long term goal with it, just like I have with Amazon. And um, but guys, I it kills me when I see people, you know, working a nine to five job. It, it does, because it's like, man, you can make especially people who have motivation or people who really want to make it. There are ways you can make a lot of money and it doesn't cost a lot to get started, but it is, it's a lot of work, but man, it's worth it. Mendez says, uh, Rob, where is all your inventory that you sell on Amazon, eBay on your house? No, um, that's the thing about Amazon FBA. They store it all for you. You send it all into Amazon. Um, you know, and they store it all for you. It's, it's, it's awesome. Right now I have, um, I probably have, 40,000 items in Amazon right now. It's all in their warehouses. I send it, I buy it, I send it to Amazon. Um, I even have times that I, or most of my inventory now, I buy online or I have employees buy it for me online. It's sent to a lady in Montana. She sends it to Amazon warehouses for me. I don't even have to touch it. So I can actually go to, like my girlfriend's from Sweden. When we go visit her family in Sweden, I buy stuff online, have it sent to her in Montana. It goes to Amazon. Amazon ships it to my customers, and I just make money without ever touching the inventory. Yeah, so that's how I'm able to live in a two-bedroom or three-bedroom apartment in California with no storage and and do it. So it's out there, guys. It's out there. You just gotta you just gotta be willing to work for it. Um, Chris says to teach me. Oh man, I wouldn't expect it all you guys to be wanting to learn about Amazon. That's crazy. Um, would love videos on FBA. Yeah. Chris Patton says, waiting on that Amazon FBA 101 video. I've actually got some Amazon videos up, guys. Go search them on the channel. Um, one of them, I think, I hate to be go off on this topic because I know people really don't want to hear it, but I do. this can change lives, guys. So please bear, bear with me just a second. Let me see if I can tell you what videos to go watch. Um, if you go to my channel, and I'm, I'm sorry, BB people, but I just got to take this chance. If you look at this video right here, Okay, this is me going into a Target, a Target shopping center, and making over eighteen hundred dollars in like fifteen minutes at Target. In, tw in less than twenty-seven minutes is how I, how I did the uh, the number system on this. So uh, go watch that video for sure. That's just a way to um, just a way to get some inventory. Okay, um, and then if you go, let's see, Amazon. That is not what I wanted to do. Search across your channel. Come on. Amazon. Okay. Um, this is, let's see. Uh, okay. This one right here is the, is something I would like everybody who wants to do it to go watch. Uh, this is horrible editing. Like I said, guys, I'm not a video editor, but it's uh, how to use Amazon FBA to build wealth, debunking the myths and lies about retail arbitrage. This, if you watch this video, it's going to be painful to watch because this was like my first, one of my first ever YouTube videos and it completely sucks as a video, but the points I make 
go watch those videos and understand the points I'm making, especially if you're trying to learn from YouTube, because a lot of YouTube people are scammers. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to stick on this. I just, just a place for you guys to start. Uh, Junior says, well, congratulations. I have an FBA account, but haven't started selling yet. Definitely need to check out your older videos for advice. Yeah. And like I said, none of it's, none of it's financial advice, but it all works really well for me. Book says I have an Amazon store and honestly, I have not made enough money. Maybe I need to DM you for some tips. You don't mind, man. I don't want to, I don't want to get off on that tangent with people. I mean, I don't mind helping people, but you know, if I end up getting a hundred people texting me, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to charge for, I mean, my time's just worth more than that, but yeah, go watch those videos. And like I said, if you want to drop a question every now and then I won't mind helping, but Diamond says bots have let people buy comics for five, six dollars. Why complain? Yeah, that's another way I look at it too. Uh, ben Jazz says, if you don't like bots, I'll take your C3PO. Oh, because he's a bot. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Realtor Aaron says, I also don't care about bots. Have you ever tried to get a pair of shoes on a drop after the sneak? Yeah, exactly. It's almost impossible. That's the same, that's the same reason that um that's the same reason that you know, you can't get, um, you know, the new PS5 when it came out. You couldn't get it because bots bought it up. But they're not illegal, guys. They're against terms of service. It's two totally different things. If they were illegal, you could stop them. You're not going to stop them with terms of terms of verb. Dino! Dino wants to come in. Am I too late? You still here, Dino? 254? No, he's probably still here. Let me send Dino a link. Ugh. Oh, I don't need that yet, but I can send him a link. Uh, Dino, Dino, Dino. Where you at, Dino? Yeah, there he is. All right, Dino. Link is sent, my friend. <laughs> Todd's the same price as SRS and Martin Spoil for choice. <laughs> uh, Real Ray says, "How much do you need to get started? Very, very little. You can you can start an FBA store. Um, it's uh, it's forty nine a month for the actual store once you get it set up, but you don't need that to even start. Um, there's a lot of steps you have to take to start, but it's not it doesn't cost anything. And uh, I mean, you can literally start buying, you know, five dollar items at Walmart." Uh, for yeah, for Amazon. Uh Skate Junkie says, What's the spec on the Woody? I think it's a definite blue chip hodl. I love Woody. Um, yeah, I mean it's definitely a hold. I don't yeah, I, I think I think long term he's gonna be worth quite a bit. It's gonna take a while. There's a whole bunch of them in circulation, is the problem. Uh real races, I'd love to learn. All right. <laughs> uh, he says, Dino, please don't bring up bots on Rob's channel. We don't care about them. Dino can bring up anything he wants, man. I I, I, I appreciate Dino. I appreciate his opinion on everything. I, I love that dude. He's welcome to talk about anything he wants. We know we we disagree. We dis we vehemently disagree on bots. We do it all the time. It's not, it's nothing new. I still think the world of him. And like I said, guys, you got to have everybody's opinion. Everybody's opinion matters. And that's how we learn. You know, we don't learn without learn without taking in everyone else's opinion. That's how you move forward in life, guys. Always be willing to accept other people's thoughts and opinions. Edson says, I'm going to start my FBA soon too, Rob. Just been researching the space. If possible, an FBA stream would be dope where we can ask questions, etc. I could probably do that. I could probably do an FBA stream. Um, would, would you guys want to do that? Uh, if you guys would want to do an FBA stream, I might could set one up. But I mean, I wouldn't want to do it if there's just one or two people in there. I just don't want it to kill my my YouTube, you know, with Vivi because I really want to build the Vivi community. But yeah, we could we could maybe do that. Uh, <laughs> Book says I ordered my inventory from China, but with FBA fees and advertising costs, eat up all my profits. Yeah, I don't order anything from China. I only sell name brand products. I don't I don't do anything like that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Aaron says, so you're more retail arbitrage, not so much private. Yeah, I don't do any private label. It's all retail and online arbitrage. Uh, Dedicated Savage says, I'm definitely going to look into it. Go for it, man. Jeff says, Vivi needs to make the, the buy now button higher or a small purchase picture. People who try to snipe on the secondary market has to scroll down and buy and always fails. Oh, well, not always. I buy on the secondary market sometimes. But yeah, I mean, you just... It's not that you always fail. It's just one person can win. If there's 10,000 people trying to buy the same thing, that's what makes it so hard. 
Uh, Vinjaz says, yes on the FBA stream. Okay. Well, if you guys want it, I'll definitely do it. I'd love to help people. I mean, but uh, we'll we'll schedule one. I can't do it today. Uh, maybe tomorrow. If you guys are here tomorrow, uh, I just have plans after this tomorrow. But, uh, but yeah, I, I might do that. Uh, Chris Abron says, hey, Rob, how many Pixar Pals collectibles did you get on the drop? Just one. I got the uh, the Up House. Sean says yes to the FBA stream. Anthony says that would be great. Oh, man, I wasn't trying to get off on that tangent. But, yeah, I mean, if, it, if even one person could make some money, that'd be great. Uh, Skate Junkie says you forgot NFT Pirates on your community. I did? I thought they were on there. I'll definitely add them. I could have sworn I put them on there. I redid the banner a few times, though, so I may have accidentally took them off because I had to redo it a few times. Let me see if I can edit it real quick and throw them on there. Yeah, because I really, I really like them. Yeah, guys, let me know if I miss somebody because, um, yeah, you know what it is? For some reason in my head, and I know this is probably going to make some people mad, but uh, I saw that I had Taps Trades on there, and for some reason those two in my head are the same. I don't know why. I know they're not. I know that. <laughs> I know it probably makes some people mad. But okay, we got we got him on there now. No offense to anyone who I don't have on there. It's not the point. I just I just miss people, guys. I'm sorry about that. But they are on there now. Uh, ben Jazz trying to give me more work, saying you could do a Twitter Spaces for FBA discussion. I don't even I don't even know how to do that, man. <laughs> you guys, when I say it's hard work, what I do is hard work. I literally work, you know. 12 hours a day doing that. I do not have time to be doing more streams than what I'm doing already. I'm already neglecting my business enough doing this stream three or four hours a day. Uh, Clint says he would like an FBA stream too. Oh man, you guys are going to talk me into doing it. it. I really don't mind doing it. I mean, that, like I said, that was the original point of starting the, starting the channel and then I just fell into VV. So that's how this ended up. I mean, but the whole initial point was, um, was doing that. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, you can make a lot of money on FBA, guys. It is a real thing. All right, Dino's here. Let me get through these questions real quick, and we'll bring him in. Uh, Eduardo says, you are Deadpool or Black Panther. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. Edson says, just a thought. Create another channel for it. Rob's FA stuff and monetize that channel, too. Man, you guys act like I have 40 hours in a day. I got 24 just like everybody else. <laughs> Book says, yes, sir. I'll be here tomorrow for your FBA stream. Eager to learn. All right, cool, guys. We're through the chat. Let's let Dino hop in here. What's up, my man? What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Dude, big chilling over here, brother. Awesome. Hey, guys, we're doing a get-together, too. Me and Dino are going to be together. We're going to meet up for the first time on Saturday. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be yeah, great. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, at the Concord Veranda. So if any of you guys are in the area, let us know. What's up, man? I saw you flipping a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff. What you got going on, brother? Yeah, man. Yeah, I've got a stack of woodies I'm slinging around. It's fun. <laughs> slinging woodies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's two communities you can say that in. Um, <laughs> one of them, you get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> that's, that's cool, man. What's your what's your buy price? How'd you do on the buys? Did you, what, what price were you buying them at? I mean, not perfect, but most of them are around 240 Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I got into the two I flipped in the 220 230 range, and uh Got out of them in around the 320 range. So that was a pretty pretty cool flip. Uh yeah. how, many, how deep did you go? How many? Yeah. Oh, I bought eleven. Oh, um, eleven. Okay, cool. Yeah, you so looking to hold some 11. or are they all flips? I'll hold like one or two. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like moonshots. You know, you all you know, hold one. Most of them I'll probably flip out of. Um, I'm kind of interested to see if um how hard they'll moon or if they'll like tank quick. I think it kind yeah. of just depends. Yeah, so I'm just kind of watching them. I, d I had no ex expectation for these prices. It's way lower than I thought it would be. So, is it? Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of people seem to think they were going to go for a lot more than they actually did. It's in at 305 right now. Um, I think it so tells us that people value gold too, right? Well, I think it's, I think it's got a lot to do with uh, where collectors come in at. Collector, you know. Toy Story is a huge, huge universe. There's no doubt about that. But their most expensive toy that they've ever sold is like three grand. That's it. And mm. there's there's only 117 of those ever made. Mm. And on it was from a 2017 like Comic Con or something. And uh, they usually sell for like fifteen to two thousand. But they did have that one sale over three grand. So one mm. sold for that. 
you know, and then you start looking at like Donald and Daisy or Mickey or any of that stuff that's sold in the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, I mean, you just have more real world to go with. I mean, Disney's got a 60 year head start on Pixar too. You know, that's yeah. another thing, you know? Um, so it just, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a huge market, you know, it's a huge market, but it's a huge market for 20 to $50 toys. You know, it's just the way it is. So I yeah, that's, that's a big a deal. That's a good thought there. I mean, I didn't know that, you know, the real life toy market for that. That's actually a great thought, you know? Yeah. I mean, there, you don't have a whole lot of, you don't have a whole lot of toy story collectors out there that are just spending a ton of money on, on mm. this stuff, you know, and the prices are actually right. I mean, almost exactly where I thought they were going to be. So it just, it's, I just think it's crazy that people thought like they were going to go for a thousand dollars. It's like, man, there's 13,000 of these too. You know, there's a lot. So, you know, 50,000 in the whole set. So I think they're right on pace. I think they're going to run pretty much like we saw Wonder Woman run is what I'm expecting. You know, I'm expecting them to stay in that three to 400 range. And if we get a huge shoot up, you know, they could go up to 14, 1500, something like that, but then they're going to come back down to earth. So um, no, 1500, that'd be crazy. Yeah. I mean, but that's way down the road and that's what the huge bull run, like if we had the January bull run, like we had, yeah. they might would do that. You know, that's what I'm getting at. But uh, I don't think we're anywhere close to that at any time, but, uh, but yeah. What do you think about the market, man? What's happening? Mm, I think it's the same old, same old, right? I mean, I think we're all waiting for the next drop announcement. I think the sentiment, you know, sentiment is low on the market, you know, like, it, 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 you know, we're not in a bull run, right? We're, you know, so I think it's kind of interesting, you know, I think we're about same old, same old, same as we were before Pixar. Yeah. You know, we had a little bit of a run before it, and then Pixar was announced, which kind of crushed it. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how, I, like where the market's at. You always have MTL, you know, kind of looming. And yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what happens. You know, like I mean. <laughs> so what's the uh, game plan, man? Are you uh, are you flipping out of the stuff you had bought now? I mean, are 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 you still going just going more into gems, or did you change? Yeah, that? I mean, I spent a lot of my gems on Pixar. Um, I just wasn't expecting those prices, and I expected to just flip and make some profit. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, I think the funny thing is, I think ultimately my goal probably is which i probably should make a video on it like sharing like because i kind of formulated a similar vein of plan but like maybe more like more directed mm -hmm. i am kind of of the opinion that i think the future grails are going to destroy the current ones like i i, I actually think that if we get any level of jedi on the app mm -hmm. let alone vader obi-wan luke you know the big ones you know if we get any level of Pokemon on the app, you know, you know, let alone the, you know, the base set, you know, whatever. And I think honestly, and I know it's a big thing to throw this in there, some high level anime characters, man, yeah. anime people like to spend money on useless crap. Like if yours people, yeah, I mean, that, I, you probably know, right? Yeah, but that's going back to that. I agree with you with the Star Wars. I completely agree with the mm. Star Wars. Uh, but the anime, that goes back to what I just talked about with Toy Story. Anime people spend a lot of money on $20 to $50 toys. You know mm, what I'm saying? Interesting point. It, it's, it's, it's very little that I know of. And I mean, I deal with toys every day, but it's very little I know of that's worth thousands of dollars. You know, And that's not to say it won't be. But I mean, I think it's the same situation. Yeah, there's a huge market for it. I mean, like I sell... My Hero Academia stuff constantly, Dragon Ball Z stuff constantly in that. But it's low end. Twenty to two, maybe two hundred dollars at the very high end range, mm. you know. Um, you know, I sell tons of it. It's one of my best selling products, but I just don't know how that's going to translate into ten thousand dollar collectibles. You know, now Star Wars is a different story. You know, so there's Star Wars stuff that sells for tens of thousands every day. You know, yeah. it's no, just, that's an amazing point. Yeah, you know, and and it's you know Star Wars just like Disney has the history. You know what I'm saying? It's got the 30 years of collector or 40 years of collectors in there where the stuff has shot up in value. So I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, we'll see. <laughs> hey, thank you fam for all the eggs. Appreciate you. What's up, Vivi Vol? <laughs> yeah, hey, head look, hey yeah. don't you want to sell one of them woodies for 295? I will sell you a woody for 295 direct send gems. If you want to direct send me gems, I will sell you that. Cause then I save on the selfie. It's chill yeah. for me. There you um, go. Yeah, so I, I, my plan, I think, in the next couple months is probably to get to a stack of mm, 20K gems, maybe. Okay. I'd like to get, I'd like to get there. Um, and I would like to prepare for Star Wars and I'd like to prepare for Pokemon. And I think that they will, might, those might beat Walt. I think they might beat Secret Rare Spider Man, personally. 
Um, definitely going to beat Todd and maybe not Riso, but yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with you <clears throat> with the beat Todd part. Um, I, don't I know the Walt's the hard. Part. The Walt is Walt is a big. <clears throat> I, you know, I'm kind of in this place where I'm like, there's only, in my mind, there might only be a few grails on the app. I'm thinking about it. You know, it might just be like Walt, maybe Spider-Man and like MC1, you know, like. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on your definition of the word grail. Too. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, every, I like what you said earlier about definition. that. Yeah. No, I like what you said. It's like blue chips, grails, you know, there's, well, how do you yeah. define just good? You know, there's pieces yeah. that are good. There's people's pieces that are not good. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's all opinion. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's also going to, you know, the bottom line is. You know, like like talking about that SRS to Martin, it doesn't matter if we call it a grail or blue chip or what. There's only 420 of them that are ever going to no. be available. And yeah. as soon as p- those are held by 420 people who aren't going to sell them, you call yeah. it whatever you want. It's going to be priceless because nobody yeah, we have to buy one. Yeah. So, you know, no, it's, it's a great marriage on- of IP and scarcity. Yeah. To Aston Martin. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly right. And that's why, you know, I. I love the Todd. I wish I'd, you know, I'm going to try to get another Todd, but there's 7,500 of them, man. You know, there's a bunch, you know, just like Woody. There's a whole bunch of them. You know, that's the that's the thing. And I think while I don't think scarcity is everything, I think you do have to have it with the IP for things to mm. really go up fast, you know, so. It's yeah. the FA potato head. That's kind of a great point. People <laughs> do like that potato head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> potato. Wait, what? What I miss? Someone's just saying it's the, it's all about the FA potato head. <laughs> FA potato head. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, as long as it's not FE, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not FE, yeah. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. They they so screwed themselves with the FE FA. Dude, but there just whatever. should have been one FE. It's so yeah. It, <laughs> Why does there have to be a hundred FE? It doesn't make any sense. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> it's like it's like as long as like as long as a car has a personality on a cartoon, it's considered FA. But a real car that's like makes a whole franchise series is yeah. gonna be FE. I, I tweeted at um <laughs> I tweeted at I, I'm actually curious what you think. You know a lot about Pokemon. You think, do you think the Pokemon secret rare, like whatever, you know, whatever we got to call the rarity, the secret rare Charizard 3D collectible, ver, you know, like, you know, the cool one versus the, the card, like on mm-hmm. VV, what do you think is going to be better? The card. You think so? Far. Not even close. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if I think the most expensive, and this is just going off a of real world value. I just yeah. think so many people put so much emphasis on that Charizard card. I mean, it's just so big and I'll never be able to own one in the real world, you yeah. know, but if I wanted to own a Charizard collectible statue, I could go buy one of those right now for twenty nine ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? Really? And okay. there's no exclusivity <laughs> to it. You know, I think the most expensive one might cost you a couple hundred bucks. You know I mean? I'm yeah. sure there's like a limited edition one made out of gold or something that's worth a fortune, but <laughs> that card's just got so much real world value and so much real mm. world <clears throat> and not only that, I don't think people will sell it as quickly. I think people, mm. once they have one, are going to hold it. Uh, you know, and that's, that's something I, I don't really understand. I've been thinking a lot about lately. You know, it's like this, our community <clears throat> puts a lot of emphasis on collectibles over comics and cards. We but do. In the re- but in the real world, comics and cards are worth way more than collectibles, especially when you talk about the higher end stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I don't know. Is it going to change over? Is it going to... I don't know. You know, it's, it's an interesting concept, but to me as a Pokemon card collector, man, I, I would love to have an FA, you know, a first ever Charizard, first edition, first edition Charizard that I'll never own, you know, in real life. That is a great know, perspective. You know, and that's and, the same thing with the MC1, right? That's the same thing about the comp, even the common MC1 is that you will never own one in real life. So a comic book collector is like, I can own an MC1. Like, how incredible is this? Like, I get to own it. Yeah. We'll see. And another thing too, I don't know. Have you seen the new Akoma Wiki yet? Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of it's super clean now. Yeah, but if we go, I'll, I'll bring this up in a second as soon as I find it. Um, where was I at? I've, I've, I've learned how to do this new. Okay, no, let's, look, look, let's look at this real quick. Look, this is my chart of my actual collection. Okay, if we look mm-hmm. at total NFT since February, look at this chart. I mean, it's just wavy, wavy, wavy. This is collectibles, kind of just pretty much flat. If you just flatten it out, this is comics. Okay, comics just straight up. Hmm. See what I'm saying? And I think cards are going to be the same way. I think we're going to have the same thing because people put that collector's value on cards like they put on the comics right now. That's a great point. And we've been having that boom in comics that we've been having, man. I think the I think the cards would be huge. I think they'd be huge. And I think you would also be able to get you know, like you know you'd be able to get a card game actually to where you could use them a lot quicker than you're going to be able to use like NFTs as skins or anything. 
you know. Mm. So I mean, they already and have that's to, not even guaranteed. That's just people guessing, that's just, just straight people, up. That's, that's people, just people straight up guessing. They have yep. no idea what they're saying, and yep. they're literally just saying, "Oh, we could use it as a skin," you know, mm-hmm. like. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows, you know, and that's. I, but I do think you know, as far as putting a card game out there, and if you do that, it's going to give people more reason to hold, you know, and it also could um be a really good way to get into uh, rentals. You know, because if you if you own that Charizard, or let's say it doesn't have to be a Charizard, but let's say you own a key card for somebody's deck, you know, and somebody wants to build that deck and there's none for sale, you could possibly rent that card from somebody too, you know. So it's just another utility that I think would be very easy to put into play, you know, in the VB verse, the beginning of the VB verse. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the kind of utility we're gonna have to have to build into the VB verse that we all want to see. So, no, I mean, that's a, that's a great point. You know, like it, it just, it's a good point. And so, I mean, who knows, but something else I could see them doing though, uh, cause Pokemon wants every Pokemon's all about inclusivity and everybody being able to play and everybody, be, I could see them releasing the cards and having, you know, a hundred thousand of each card. And I could see them releasing a Charizard with a thousand editions. If that's what yeah. happens then that Charizard is going to be worth a ton more money. You know, well, you know the secret of Charizard is going to have a thousand editions or whatever it's going to have, right? You know, yeah. you know it's going to be low. Maybe it'll be Black Panther twenty eight hundred. You know, who knows? But you know the cards, and that is a theory. People could say that there's going to be a ton of cards, right? Because mm-hmm. of the game, maybe gaming. So you never, we never know, right? It really yeah. depends on that scarcity too. Well, we also don't know. I mean, how do how nobody knows if they're not going to release. Well, first of all, we don't even know if we have Pokemon. That's the yeah, first exactly. thing. But if we do, nobody, I mean, what if, who's to say they're not going to release it like they did this this release they just did? You know, they might do, you know, they might just do starter Pokemon. Or they might yep. just do, you know what I'm saying? You might get, you know, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, uh, my mind just went blank. Uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. Yeah. And then you might get Pikachu as, a, as an ultra rare. We don't, nobody knows. You know, it's all speculation, you know, so. Pikachu okay. will, I mean, if they released them together, I think Pikachu would be the common for sure. Yeah, um, probably, probably. Because it's like the Woody, right? It's like everyone wants the Pikachu, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, that's and a good then, point. Yeah, and I don't know why. I, In my mind, I'm not a huge Pokemon guy, but my mind always goes to like the Charizard. Like the Charizard is the card. Like the Charizard is the guy. He's the one that, you know, and I know there's that Illustrator Pikachu chart that's worth more, but yeah. like I feel like in everyone's mind, it's like Logan Paul charizard you know yeah. like, i don't know yeah yeah no that would be but i mean you also have to realize that's just one card that's one yeah. card out of about what three thousand charizard cards that are out there so mm. you know they could also you know they could make that very scarce very limited just like in the real world and then they could release another 50 charizards within a you know a month that they wanted to you know what i'm saying there's so many different ones i mean I literally probably have I probably have four hundred different Charizard cards in the room I'm sitting in right now. Different styles of Charizard. Really, so, I mean, that's there, awesome. There, there's so many different versions, you know, that it's just, you know, I don't know. It just depends on how they go about doing it, you know. And if they go if they go with scarcity, that's going to shock me because that's just not Pokemon. Pokemon does not go with scarcity for anything. You know, the the reason that one Charizard card is so scarce is because. Nobody knew it was going to be collectible. Nobody knew it was going to be a big deal. And they just didn't make a lot of them. And then when mm. they, the way that it came out, you had the first appear or the first edition, which has the stamp, which is the F, the first edition stamp, which makes it so valuable. Well, after that, they saw that it was fairly popular. So they made the shadowless version. Then they made an unlimited version. So there's very few with that first edition stamp because they didn't know if it was going to be worth selling or not. Okay. They had no clue. So that's why they're so rare. Then a lot of people who bought them didn't, you know, like I think the first editions were only sold like in California anyway, like like on the West Coast. That's the only really? place you could even buy them. Yeah, I they did weren't not know like that. they weren't massively distributed, you know, and um, that's why they're so rare. That's why there's so few of them out there. And then of course, you know, a lot of them got torn up, a lot of them got thrown away or whatever. So yep. that, that's you, why they're used as a kid when you played the game, you know, like. Right. But now, if you look at Charizard now, okay, when they release a set, you know, yeah, it's still valuable, but they might they might be 50,000 of that Charizard that's released in that set. Mm. And I just don't know. Pokemon is so much about exclusivity. Look at Pokemon Go. What's it about? The whole game is about making friends and sharing with people. And that, that's the whole point of the whole, that's what Niantic does. That's what Pokemon does. 
you know so yeah what are they going to release are they going to release a limited number of charizards like that i don't i just don't know it just doesn't follow suit with everything else they've ever done in their entire marketing history hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah. so you know what happens if it's twenty thousand charizards or fifty thousand charizards you know oh then what gosh. happens to the price you oh know my so gosh Hey, um, Skate Junkie, you want to buy that Woody, bro? Just DM me on Twitter and I'll send you my gym address right now, bro. And then I'll send it to, I'll send it to you on live. It'll be fun. <laughs> there you go. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, so he's saying he wants to buy it. So yeah, just DM me on Twitter so I can message you my gym address. When I get the gyms on stream, I'll just send you the Woody. Uh, so what, yeah, go ahead. No, just what else is going on, man? What, uh, what are we going to do Saturday? What's the game plan? What time are we meeting up? Uh, yeah, we'll just meet up at noon, you know, lunchtime. Um, I think the game plan is honestly like eat food and hang out. Like, eat food I don't and have hang a game, out. I don't have a game plan. Like, you know, I mean, I, it's not like we're gonna do like a game, you know. Yeah, like, we're no, gonna, I like, hear you. I hear but, you. So, the veranda, if you've been to the veranda, it's like a ton of open it. public seating. There's like okay. a big, like, there's like a big, like, astroturf area that has like, um, like all kinds of like comfortable lawn chairs and um, cornhole and ping pong, and there's like fire pits. It's like a big hangout seating area, like, and there's yeah. food all around it. And so I think we'll just play it by ear, right? So if it's like me, you, and 10 people, maybe yeah. we go to a restaurant, right? If it's me, you, and 50 people, then, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe you know, maybe we all just find seating and just hang out, you know? And yeah, yeah. Obviously, absolutely. right, we're all going to talk about BB. We're going to high five. We're going to take pictures together. And I think it's just going to be fun. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. to me, to me, it was like, it's going to be fun to meet you in person, too. We live yeah, close. absolutely. And, I just don't, I have no context, right? Is there going to be five people there? Okay, cool. Then let's go yeah, to the yard yeah. house and let's, let's all get a beer and let's, you know, eat dinner together, right? If yeah. there's going to be 50 of us, that maybe is not as practical, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if you had any idea how many people were going to show up. I think there's going to be at least four or five people that I've talked to that I think are going to go for sure. Honestly, we'll honestly, it sounds like fun. If there was like 15 of us, I feel like yeah. it'd be fun. It'd be more fun Absolutely. than if it was a hundred. Like, yeah, because if we could all go to dinner and just chat and like, yeah, it'd be fun. Out. <laughs> yeah no absolutely. yeah so we'll get man. lunch you know hang out a couple hours chill shoot the shit about vb and you know do whatever yeah awesome man so what's going on on your channel man tell some people what's happening yeah man i mean i do i do a live every day um i share i'll do a lot of like vb theories i do a lot of what time are you, you know, doing your lives now in the morning huh pretty, pretty yeah early. i do i stick to the morning i stick to the morning i usually do right after drop um anywhere between like 9 and 11 i'll start um kind of finding a sweet spot there with my you know my kids nap time and stuff like that How's she doing, by the way? Did she get over the COVID? Um, no, yeah, she got over really well. She did really good. She awesome. bounced back quick. She's doing well. She's napping right now. Um, cool. So yeah, like today I was busy. I had to I had to do some stuff in the morning. So I'm gonna do a live. I'll probably do my live at like four. So like okay. I said, I come on here and hang out with you for a bit, and then I'll go do my live. Um, awesome. But yeah, no, channel's great, man. Having a black, I have a strong community of people that are just super fun, super knowledgeable. Oh, I know. I see eggs everywhere. <laughs> it's just, you guys are everywhere. <laughs> I don't pretend to be the smartest guy in VV. You know, I, I think that a lot of us have a similar amount of knowledge. Yeah. There's some people that are a lot better, but I think a lot of us have a similar amount of knowledge in, like me. So I kind of view my channel as like, it's a, kind of like a collective mind. We get together and I learn from everyone and I yeah. share some thoughts and we, you know, we make some moves together and um i i really enjoy it i really enjoy the community that i'm building it's just fun yeah. i try to keep it lighthearted. i try to keep it natural i keep it myself like you know if i don't like something vb does then i'll be like what the heck is going on you know and i'll be like Pay, you know if i love it i'll be like you know like the ukraine thing i freaking i love that i absolutely yeah. i absolutely love that and i was like i 100 percent want to support this i was happy to mint that day i actually hit four times that weekend i wow. minted every single time yeah, I got super lucky. Um, you know, like I was happy to raise money for it. We're hoping to get, I think we're going to end up around eight or 900 bucks raised, which is cool. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. It's just like, to me, like that was a huge win on their part. Yeah, and absolutely. so I just keep my channel fun. Like we're having a blast. I'm trying to help people. I try to help people not get scammed. I do escrows a lot. You know, so it's like, <laughs> how's the escrow thing going? It's good, man. It's a great way for me to make extra money. And then people don't get scammed. They feel yeah. comfortable because they'll watch me for a hundred hours and they're like, this is a nice guy. He's not going to take my money. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah, no, that's know. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I help some, some guys. There. I help. So, you know, I've got their messages. Um, I helped some guy sell 45,000 gems one time and he sent me his log into his account. You know what I mean? Like, wow. so he's literally just, Oh yeah, here's my password and email. I'm not stressing. Whenever we get sales, let me know, you know? And so I helped him wow. sell 45,000 gems. Right. And so what's the average um, gym rate going for right now? Do you have any for sale right now? 
Oh yeah, there's always a ton of sellers in my Discord. I mean, they're not personally my gems, right? I just kind of middleman them. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's always a ton of sellers in my Discord. Um, there's a couple big ones that like feed the whales, and then there's yeah. you know smaller guys that are always trying to sell stuff. And yeah. um, and I always tell people, I'm like, it doesn't matter if you trust your seller or not. It doesn't matter if you trust your buyer or not. If you trust your escrow, you're not going to get scammed. Yeah. That's the key. If you don't trust your escrow, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. You're going to yeah. get scammed. It's because then you hear about the person that gets scammed, right? The you know the one time they did something or yeah, you know. So yeah. you just got to be careful. Um, I'm very careful. Like I have people triple check everything. I turn my video call on every time so they know it's me because yeah. I've had people try to impersonate me now. Um, <laughs> That's when you know you made it. <laughs> yeah. It, well, people are just trying to steal money, right, with my yeah. name. So yeah, yeah. I always turn my video call on. I'm like, hey, just so you know, it's the real Dino, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's great, man. Congrats. That's awesome. Yeah. People, but yeah, it's um, a good way to make money. So and, and so, I, I so how do people find your Discord? I'm not even, I don't even know anything about Discord. How do they find your Discord? Because I have people all the time asking me. Yeah. How, where to my Discord stuff. is linked in all of my videos. So all of my videos, my Discord is linked. You can join it right through there. Okay. Um, and it will take you right to my main chat. It's called Egg Gang Chat. You know, like <laughs> it, my Discord's called Dino Lang Investing. And my, it, you know, like I have a whole market section. I have a whole section where it's community driven, where basically we call it like the what's pumping, what's dumping section yeah. and what's primed to pump. So people, it's community driven. So everyone just shares like, oh, the Woody's moved this much or uh, Secret Aster Martin is down if you guys want to buy. Yeah. You know, I have a sec. So I, you know, it, I try to keep it really simple and helpful. You know, and it's community based. It's just, I try to keep my channel fun. Like, honestly, like I said, most of us have the same amount of knowledge in VV and we can all help each other win. It, we don't have to be greedy with this. You know what I mean? Like we can all help each other. Yeah. Well, that's why I constantly promote everybody else and say, hey, don't listen to my point of view. Go listen to everybody's. Make your own decision. You know, that's what we all have to do for sure. But uh, yeah. Yeah, man, that's great. Oh, Makila Gorilla. Nice. Yeah. I just helped him buy gems the other day. Um, oh, yeah? He said I bought gems with Dino the other day. It was easy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Skate Junkie, you just messaged me? Easy, man. I'll I'll, uh, I'll check it out, bro, and we'll get you that Woody. Woody's down in the 280s right now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 282. Let's go. I guess I shouldn't have said that before he sent you the gym. So. <laughs> That's fine. It's all good. I, mean, it's, I, it's nice. I caught it right when I said it. I was like, oh, crap. I didn't get his mess. I didn't get a message anyway, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, yeah it's all good. Uh, it, actually, moved it, around it actually so ate, much. It, it ate it up real quick too. It's at two ninety nine now. Like yeah, literally. Woody doesn't stay there very long. Yeah, I feel like three hundred's a pretty strong wall for him. Yeah, it seems like as soon as he dips below three, it just gets eaten up. People, people eat it up. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I think he's a real good. If you want to flip, which isn't really my game, like one just listed for two seventy nine. If you want to flip, he's probably a really good one to, you know, practice flipping on, in my opinion, from everything I've seen from what he's doing. Okay. I'm looking for your message, bro, and I don't see it, so I don't know where you messaged me. But, yeah, go ahead and message me, and I'll help you out, man, because I can send it. Oh, what's your Discord name? My Discord name is called Dino Lang Investing, but the best way to find it is just to go to one of my YouTube videos, go to the description, and then click on it. It's right there. <laughs> it's linked in all my descriptions. Who's <laughs> Skate Chuck? He's a Dino the Bot Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some weird conversation with bots recently. Some guy tried to sell me a bot. And so I tried to like message him for like 20 minutes. I tried to get info from him. Yeah. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't cave. He was very protect. He's like, sorry, I can't give you any usernames. You might be reporting to me to Vivi as I was reporting him to Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But That's you know so what? Funny. I'll tell you guys this. I did have a good interaction with one of the uh, senior mods. I just took a screenshot. I mean, we all know right, when a bot dumps, right? There's, 20 collectibles that hit the market all at once. They're all the same price. They're all those weird names. They're all private accounts, right? It's a bot dump, right? It's They, they opened up their program. They, they did it, right? They dumped all their accounts all at once. Bam. They're, why would they, Who dumps at the same price? That's dumb, right? And it's because they can't list 20 times. It's too much work, right? And so I sent that to Vivi, that screenshot, and they said, oh, we could probably work with this. We could look into the, the usernames and the mint numbers that you gave us. So if you guys see a bot dump, you know, take a screenshot, report it to Vivi. Maybe they can get some intel from it. There you go. Told you guys, if you want a bot information, Dino's your man. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I don't even want to talk about it. But, uh, but yeah, no, that's why you guys should go follow his channel because he's always doing stuff like that. I, also, did you see uh, – uh, I don't remember who it was. Somebody who's in both our chats is actually uh, running the – 
the scans on uh, Mutable X to try to hunt down bots. There's somebody doing that too. I don't remember who. Yes, was. yes, he's is a cool Getsky? guy. Is it Getsky doing it? Yes, Somebody's yeah, doing it. yeah, yeah. Getsky is a really cool guy. Um, hold yeah, on. I think Your I think he's actually me. found the best way to find him, in my opinion. Um, I'm messaging him right now, and I'll send Woody. Uh, send QR. Um, yeah. So you're guys buying a Woody from me on stream. Nice. I got to sell a few awesome. more. So that'll be fun. I'll probably awesome. sell one on my stream too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How many you got left? You going to be buying some more? No, I'll just probably hold. I mean, obviously if he dips, you know, I might buy some more. I yeah. mean, Woody was, Woody is the piece of this collection. Like, oh yeah, there's it, no doubt it was about Woody, that. And then yeah. it was McQueen, I think. Right. Uh, and in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I would say Woody than the house, but. Oh, the house. Okay. Yeah. That's probably where I'd put it. So what's your, what's your buy price then? Like, what are you looking to get back in at 250, 280, something like that? 260? Um, you know, honestly, after you buy them all at 240, you're kind of like, I don't know yeah, if I want to buy anymore. I don't want to like, buy anymore. <laughs> you know, and you. I and I I'm I'm kind of I'm personally more bullish on gems right now. Um, yeah. I think they're just a safer bet. Maybe some maybe some comics. Like I've been buying comics too. Like have you? Like, yeah, I've been picking up I picked up quite a few of the ultra rare strange academies. Um, oh, really? Why, yeah. why that one in particular? Any reason or? Well, the artwork is incredible on it. I mean, yeah, I it agree just with that. looks. That is it some looks, cool artwork. It, it's yeah. probably the best. Some of the best artwork out of the out of the set. Besides the rare, I like the rare, but the ultra rare has all those characters. Right. So it has a lot of character FAs. Um, you have the Doctor Strange movie coming out. Um, Sleeping is a believer in it. I have a. I know a lot of people that have a, a few of them that are big believers in it. Um, okay. It's a great showroom piece. Um, and there's very, very, very low supply on the market. I mean, really, I mean, there's 20, there's 27 for sale. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever looked at that one before. I mean, I know I've looked at it, but I never looked at it like to buy it. So that's interesting. That's just... Yeah. There's 20, there's 27 for sale. So, huh. um, yeah, total, it's less than the secret out. rare. That's crazy. Um, yeah. yeah so comics, it's, it, go ahead. Comics are, comics are just doing, it's just crazy what comics have been doing over the last they're not dropping as much. At least the secret rares and ultra rares are not dropping as much as everything else on the app. And it's like, that's what you said with cards earlier. I just think people are just going to hoard them. I think people don't want to. And I know like whenever I was, was trading into that vault, I didn't want to sell any of my comics, man. It's like, I get, I just, I'm addicted to them or something. I don't know. I love them. Yeah. Let me just see. Yeah. Oh, nice. Percent. I think you just sent me the gems. Well, let me go check. Oh, cool. Give him a Woody. <laughs> Let's go. LOL. <laughs> LOL. Did you see what the Gale posted this morning? My gosh. That uh -uh. guy's funny. What Dude, that guy's just super clever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. He's great. He's great. What he post? He just he just said, um, I woke up this morning to a free Woody. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. I was <laughs> like, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's a great dude. What's going on with the Fastos, man? You, I saw you had a uh, you were you had did, was it you that posted a whole bunch of them on there? Somebody did, bro. Yeah, I posted the video, bro. Did you see how many people joined? I know, bitch, I felt so bad, man, because that was Superstar Money's thing, you know. And I just when I made the post on Twitter, <laughs> all I was thinking, I was being stupid, thinking, you know, like maybe just some, you know, a few content creators. I was going to contact you and my collectibles and stuff. Say, let's just all yeah. get on here so people can find us. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, Fastos is going to the moon because everybody's listening for 9.9 million. Dude, what, I think the floor got people. swept. Because yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> everything on the can you imagine being like the head of vv and you're like well, okay this is down this is down this is down why the hell is fast news up and everything else on the app is down like the one thing that's up is fast news <laughs> dude i was like that's ridiculous <laughs> uh yeah bro send me your send me your qr bro so i can send the woody over um <laughs> yeah i have i have a four dig i can send you man um <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude it was so funny there's so many of them now i'm yeah, like it's, it's so kind funny. of impossible to find everyone now it's almost yeah. like we need to change it up yeah yeah everybody yeah because when i bought mine to put it on there i think i paid 17 for mine and now the floor's at 20 so yeah we did move the floor a little bit i think i paid 18 for mine you know did i just you? bought off the floor yeah i just i didn't yeah. have one so i just bought yeah, one off the floor and listed it i didn't have one either but yeah, no, it's cool that we uh it's just it's just so funny that so many people jumped on it. 
Yeah, I just bought a, a Monica Rambo, you know, amazing annual Spider Man uh, 16 secret rare. She dipped all the way to 350. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've got a yes. couple of those. I think she's going to be big. Yeah, I picked one up. I mean, I had them at higher prices before and I sold them and it's lower than when I sold them. So I'm like, I'll pick one up at 350. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I, I, I like the comics. Like, I still have a little bit of Ghost Rider. I still have quite a few comics. I mean, you, we, we have differing strategies, right? I think, I think MCP might be a bigger deal. You yeah. know, and I know you're you have a high value vault kind of a strategy, which I agree with too. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like in the middle. Um, I just think it's hard to resist when it's like a twenty five dollar rare comic right now that are yeah. dropping. It's like it's so. No, cheap. I I definitely understand that, and I I tell you, man, I said this earlier on the stream. I don't know if you were here or not, but did you watch Sleeping Comics video on MCP that he did earlier today? No, I didn't watch the one today. Is it good? Well, just go check it out because it you know my my opinion about what MCP is hasn't changed. But then he started talking about renting uh, being mm. associated with MCP. And that made me like, okay, maybe I do want to be part of MCP just because of the, the rental factor. Uh, because I think that's going to be huge one day, especially if we get any real world utility in these things. Mm. And, uh, and I mean, I'm still, I mean, it's still get like 325 MCP points a day right now with, with the collection I have, you know? So it's oh, that's not, a lot, not too bad, you know, but, uh, yeah, I think so. I think I'm pretty good with MCP points if it ends up being anything, but I'm not going to change my strategy because of it, but it's still, yeah, I, I, I'm a little more bullish on it than I was when I was just thinking it was just for getting drops, you know, but, uh, but yeah, I, I like the idea about the, about the renting part. So yeah, that's a we'll part see. of the, um, I'm pretty sure it's a part of MCP pro. Yeah, so, um, Hey brother, I just sent you your Woody. Congratulations. You got a four awesome. digit. I awesome. uh, sent you cool. number 8960. Thanks for the jimmies. Yeah, congrats. Um, so, yes, I um, – and thanks for letting me sell that here, Rob. Um, Anytime, man. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, I know you're chilling about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think it's going to be part of MCP Pro. Uh -huh. um, so, MCP Pro, you're going to have to pay a subscription fee for, kind of like Netflix. Yeah. We don't know how much it's going to be. I hope it's not going to be astronomical. Um, but, yeah, MCP Pro has all the good stuff that you want, all the goodies, the renting – the burning, if burning is going to be worth it, right? The drop, yeah. right? All, all the stuff that you want to get all the new perks. So what, what are your thoughts about burning? Do you think it's going to have any, I mean, what would, why would, what would cause someone to burn something? I mean, I could see maybe burning like an $8 comic if it, there's some utility, but as far yeah. as anything value, do you know of any reason anybody would do it? It's all about, uh, uh, here's the thing. It's all about the value of those points, right? So burning it's, it's really all about the numbers they put on it because you're burning for points, right? You're not getting money. You're not. Oh, you're is that what it is? Okay. I didn't realize that. So you're burning for MCP points. That's the yeah, whole So when you point. burn, you okay. get points, I think. So it's gotcha. all about how many points they give you, um, what okay. happens. It's definitely a whale game move, right? You know, whales are going to buy, you know, a hundred of, you know, 500 of something and burn half of it just for fun, you know, like, right. because they can, and they'll, they'll make their whole liquidity, they'll make their price go up. So burning is definitely a whale game, right? Number does, one. Does VV have a burn wallet? Um, for the NFTs or for yeah. the uh, Omi? No, for the NFTs. I know there's a burn wallet for Omi, but I'm just kidding. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be. I mean, that's how it works in any type of crypto. You have a burn wallet. Well, yeah, because they where burn you send all it to those... it and, yeah. and nobody can get in. So I'm just curious how you would burn something. I mean, the only way you could burn it is if you send it to an account that yeah. no one could ever have access to. So I'm just curious. I've never seen an, an NFT burn wallet. Or I guess it would just be a burn account, but I don't know. I don't know if there's, and you can usually, there's usually a tracker too, to see if anything's been burned. I'm just curious if anything has been or how they're planning on setting it well, up. Well, they burned Captain America's, right? So they burned half the commons and half the uncommons, I think, because they, they wouldn't sell they, out. They did burn them? Like they can never sell them again? Like they're yeah, gone Yeah, no, they forever? burned them. Yeah, they burned oh, okay. them, I think. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I knew they, got, they took them off the market. Okay, No, cool. no, it was a burn. So they must have some mechanism, you know, because they already did it. Um you know, honestly, they have to give us that kind of data, right? Because we don't even have the data on how many, yeah. you know, collectibles are essentially burned in bots accounts, right? We right. don't have the data on. So they'll probably come out when MCP comes out, right? Because if you're going to be able to burn, then we got to know what. Yeah, burn, we got to right? know. And we got to know how to do it. I mean, there's got to be a there's got to be a sequence of things you have to do to guarantee that it's going somewhere that it can never come back from again. Yes. You know, yes. That's like whenever people say, you know, the Omi burn. The reason Omi is burned for people who don't know this is that Omi is sent into a wallet that no one is ever going to have access to. It's a burner wallet. You can never get into there. You can never take those that Omi out. Technically, it isn't gone. It's still there, but it's in a wallet that no one will ever be able to access. That's how a burner wallet works in crypto. 
So yeah, I'm just it's locked curious away. How, yeah, I'm just curious how it would work in, um, you know, in NFTs. I, I'm guessing it'd be the same way. I'm guessing it would just be like sending anything else to an account. Like you just sent that uh, Wally to that guy. I would assume you just send it to the burner account and nobody can ever access it. Yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be, yeah, maybe that's exactly where all the caps are, you know, like all, because I think it was half the commons and like about half the uncommons, like it was a yeah, lot of them. I heard it was burned. a lot, it was a lot, yeah, from what I understand, it was a lot. But that's, yeah, that's it didn't sell out, so it was like, yeah. So that's, that's why they decided to go to blind boxes, because, and that's also why they're doing MCP, because, you know, if they're not going to sell out the commons and uncommons, what are they going to do? They're going to give you a reason to hold the commons and uncommons, you know, that's a, you know, that's why MC, from a business standpoint, that's why you have MCP the way it is. You oh, know? it's genius. And Vivi's genius yeah. for that, right? Why do they put FAs on Mighties, right? Why yeah. are the worst things get the best points, right? It's, right? it's genius. They're super smart about it. I yeah. don't blame them at all. That no, doesn't From mean a business MCP, standpoint, yeah. it's great. It's great from a business. As an investor in the company, I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. But as an investor who wants to teach other people the better way to that I think it is to invest, I don't think it's. They're putting the points on that because that's the stuff that's not going to be worth as much in the future, in my opinion. You yeah, know? no, yeah. And, and from a business standpoint, that's why they do it. You know, that's why, you know, the, the rare comics are worth more than, the, you know, MCP wise, if you average it out, than the ultra rares and the secret rares, you know? Yes. So, well, we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how it works out in the end. It's going to be a lot of fun. And they're going to have to, you know, some, another point I, somebody I heard make the other day about MCP was they said something like, um, they're going to have to make it to where it doesn't just benefit the the top players in the game. They're going to have to. Otherwise, people are just going to get fed up with it and they're not going to do it. So I, I don't think they're done revising it. I mean, they have said before, you know, if you look on it, I think it does say that this can be revised at any time or something. So I think they're going to be changing it up as they go, you know, to try to make it as fair as they can for everybody. So we'll see. Dude, I'm down. I mean, I for MTP – it's hard, you know. It's 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 definitely we're you're basically betting a little bit earlier on it right yeah. now, and so I, I personally really don't care if the value of my things for MCP goes up dollar to dollar wise. I'm buying it because I want MCP to be worth my time, yeah. because I know that it's going to be impossible to get a drop, you know, and to increase your odds on pieces that are going to be insane. You know, people, I mean, Randy Chavez put it like this too, a, a great thought. People are going to spend thousands of dollars in OMI on the OUP raffle alone. You know, you know, it's like, imagine if you, you're you going for Secret Rare Vader, right? Arguably, in my opinion, probably going to be one of the best pieces on the app, I think. Up there with Charizard, whichever, you know, the, the Holy Grail Charizard, whichever one it is, the card, the, you know, whatever it is, right? We talked about that earlier. You know, MC1, right? If you had a chance to go for MC1 with the knowledge we had, right? People would spend because what happens is you get all your OMI back. If you don't get if you don't get it, you get 90, your OMI back. I thought it was ninety percent back, or not OMI. Uh, maybe not for, OMI. I think collector points is ninety percent. Points, back. I think, is ninety percent. I think OMI is a hundred. I have to double is check. It? Okay. Um. So you get your OMI back. So who cares if you spent five thousand dollars in OMI? You just bought a fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar collectible. You know, you're like, I don't care about that OMI. That OMI just paved the way to for me to get the piece that's going to be changing my life. Right. Yeah. So it could be a huge play in the math, like the massive grails, like the true grails, like that we know are going to be grails. Like if there is a secret air Vader, he's going to be a grail. It's like there's no I don't think there's any arguments from most people would agree. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. I just I would rather I would rather put my money on things that I know are going to happen as opposed to speculating things. That's that, true. You know, no, and I that's just, true that, too. That, that's where my thought process comes in with that, you know, but I mean, I understand why people are doing it. I get it. I understand why, why they're doing it. I just don't think it's the best investment, like yeah. long-term investment strategy. And not only that, I mean, you're still not guaranteed to get it, you know? And the thing is, you know, you're talking about secret rare Vader. Okay. Let's say there's a thousand of them. Everybody's going to have the same mindset as you when it comes to that. I mean, even people yeah. like me who aren't in MCP points, guess what? I'm going to use every MCP point I can to do it. Yep. So you're still, your odds are still going to be astronomical. Yeah. You know? The odds are not in your favor. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But yeah, I get, I mean, I get it. I understand what you're saying. So that's cool. It's, like, it's you know, and it's to each his own. There's so many different strategies on this app. I think I've heard you say that a ton. Um, oh, Franz yeah. Kafka, if you know, if you want to get gems off app, honestly, man, the best way to do it is go to my YouTube video, click on my discord link, go to my discord and um, you can read my escrow info there. And if you have any questions, I don't mind helping you out, but I have a ton of people that sell. 
Um, just make sure you use a, a trusted escrow. I don't recommend anyone but myself because it's just people's money and I know that I'm trustworthy. So, but yeah. Um, yeah. So go to my discord, man, and you can get some gems. There's plenty of people selling. Yeah. My collectibles just bought some gems through my discord the other day. Oh, did he? Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, that's good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dino's the only person I recommend to. <laughs> so you're the only person I recommend. I did. It's like somebody the other day was like, uh, you know, well, what about this person? This was like, man, I don't know those. It's not that it gets those people. They yeah, might yeah. be great, but I have seen so many people get ripped off from escrows that I don't, you know, it's like, no, I don't want to. It's sad, take right? Because people, you know? people work up to those good, de- you know, and I'm not saying this is what people are doing, but it happens. People do the five hundred dollar deals, you know, ten times, and then when the ten thousand dollar deal comes, that's, that's when the they, they smoke that's, them in. Yep. Yeah, and so you know, like whereas me, like I had a guy, I was, I've, I've moved probably over a hundred thousand of gems, like, yeah. And so one guy was forty five thousand gems, like one of my first deals. He's like, okay, here's my account, let's sell them, like, let's go. Yeah. You know, and so it's like I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I, I don't. If I wanted to steal his gems, I could have stole them like easily. I could yeah. have bought my Murmur Corno for forty five thousand and been done. Like, <laughs> yep, yeah, it's it's dangerous. It's very dangerous, but yeah, that's why it's I don't send anything it. first. I yeah. don't send anything first. People know who I am. I'm pretty, you know, people can find me if they wanted to, you know. And I'm not looking to hide anything, from me, but I don't send anything first ever, you know. And I bought a lot of stuff off that, but it's because I've, you know, we're we're fortunate to be in the position we're in to have the reputation we have. So. You know, it's just it's skate really junkie, good. bro. I'm glad you like your Woody. He said, I just went down as a living legend to him. <laughs> well, there um, you go, man. There you go. I'm glad That's you like awesome. it. Hey, Rob, I got to jump off. I'm going to do my own live stream here in a, in a few awesome, minutes. Brother. Um, well, thanks but for you guys, by, man. It's great smash like to and you. sub on Rob's channel. Rob's great, amazing content. Rob, I love talking to you. I can't wait to hang out Saturday. Same here, brother. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, guys. Guys, go follow Dino. Thank you, my friend. We'll see later, you later, brother. buddy. Bye. All right, guys. Always nice to talk to Dino. Like I said, we will be getting together on Saturday if you guys want to come hang out, if you're anywhere near Northern California. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be buying some drinks for people or whatever you guys want to do, food, whatever. Um, we'll be at the Concord Veranda in Concord, California at noon on Saturday. I will definitely be there. Dino will be there. And whoever else wants to show up is welcome to be there. Let's get back into some of these questions, guys. I'm also – oh, I got to do the members only giveaway. Um. I tell you what, guys, I'm going to mark my spot here. Uh, Clint says, Rob, do you watch Paul Barron? I have no idea who Paul Barron is, but I'm going to use that to mark my spot. And then we're going to do our members only giveaway. All the members who are here, please um, shoot your name in the, or just something to let me know how many members we have. And then we'll go from there. And while we do that, I'm going to try to get through some of these questions. So all you members, go ahead and throw something in there so I know you're here. Uh, <laughs> the bot slayer, that's funny. Um, <laughs> Slinking some egg woodies. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Dedicated Savage says FBA stream. I'll pay for that uh, info from you. Oh man, I I would I'm gonna do it. I'll do it if you guys want it. I didn't realize so many people here would be interested. Uh, had the pleasure of dealing with Dino uh, over the weekend. He's the man. Totally hooked me up with getting a bunch of uh, gems at a great price. Awesome man. Yeah, Dino's a good dude. VV Vault. What's going on, VV Vault? Thank you for being here, my friend. <laughs> Tina says, look like Mr. Clean. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where was I at? Um, no, and PP, they'll make Vader the common. If that does happen, guys, go watch Dino stream because his head's going to explode. <laughs> go watch Dino stream if they make Vader the common. <laughs> uh, Clint says, what about the partner statue? Aren't you doing your trade to Walt? Oh, yeah, I think he is. BB Vault, SRS and Martin going to the moon. Yes, sir, my friend. Thank you so much for your insight on that Aston Martin. And I tell you what, BB Vault, even if it doesn't, that thing's so much fun. I've been playing with it like it's the only NFT I've ever actually just played with and had a good time with. So thank you for that, man. Thank you for the insight on it. Uh, let's see. Jorgo says, do I just show up Saturday? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to show up Saturday and... I don't know. I won't know who you are, but you'll know who I am. So just come say hi, and yeah, we'll go from there. The VV Showroom says, imagine utility of having to hold to evolve your Pokemon to evolve. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be really cool if you had to evolve your Pokemon. Uh, Diamond QX says, would you pick up ASM 16 UR with the art by Dyer? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Nice try, though. Nice try. 
Skate Junkie says, I got them gems ready. Let's do this. Okay, you guys did that. Um, John says, Pikachu, Charizard, Blastoise, Venus Sword in that order, and then Ash as the Ultra Rare. Now, there you go. Maybe Mewtwo is a secret rare. Yeah, that would be cool. Mewtwo secret rare would be really cool. Um, <laughs> no credits left says, Wish you could join us on Saturday. Yeah, I wish you could. That'd be great. Um, Dino did do an awesome job with the Ukraine stream, guys. All right, let's see how many uh, members we have in here. Oh, we got a bunch of members in here. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten members in here. All right, members, uh, 11, 11 members in here. All right, guys, we're going to do our members only giveaway. And um, we are going to do. I'd tell you what, the way I'm going to do this is... I know i got a piece of paper in here somewhere. All right, guys, I wrote a number on the back of this envelope. All right, all you members, put one... This is a number just between 1 and 20. Go ahead and uh, type a number between 1 and 20 if you're a member. Closest person without going over is going to win, or the first person who types this number uh, is going to win. Pretty simple, right? One through 20, guys. Come on, members. We have 12, 17, 3, 8. Keep going. Keep going. Members only. Members only. 7, 17, 17, 9, 13, 6, 7, 11, 16, 11, 2. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Nobody's hit it yet. <laughs> All right, somebody's got to have it by now. All right, 12, 8, 7, 17, 13, 6, 7, 16, 11, 2, 1, 19, 5, 20, 19, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 3. How has nobody hit it yet? There's only 20 possible numbers. 15, 19, 14, Martin. It was 14, guys. 14 was the number. Martin, you are the winner. You're going to win a comic. Um, so, yeah, hit me up on Twitter, buddy, and I'll get that sent out to you. Thanks so much for participating. Thank you for being a member. As you can see, all these people participating have the green names and the, the symbol by their name. You can go sign up to be a member for $3.99 a month, and we do a members giveaway every day. Also, guys, just to let you guys know, we are six away from doing our giveaway for the uh, 3225 um, subscribers. So if you guys don't mind going and subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. And we can do that giveaway as well. All right, guys, let me jump back into the questions. Yeah, hit me up, uh, Martin, and I will send you that. Where was I at? Uh... Let's see here. Get my collectibles on stream. I don't know if he's in here or not. He's always welcome, though. He knows that. Uh, Jerry says, I'll buy gems. Yeah, I'm looking to buy gems, too, guys. Uh, about gems first time off app with Dino. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Edson's out here buying walls up. <laughs> Edson's sitting on a lot of gems. I know he can do it. Um, let's see here. I, I'm just skipping over a lot of the Dino questions because I know he's, he's not here no more. Um, I don't want to get on this subject, but yeah, I agree with you. Uh, BB shouldn't care about bots, in my opinion. And yes, BB does benefit from them a lot. Uh, if bots didn't get stuff, bots flip. And when bots flip, uh, they get that 2.5%. If it all went to holders, they wouldn't be getting that percentage. So, yeah, I, you're probably right. Um, Dance 621 is 12 fastest, listed at 9.9 .9 million. Yeah, people didn't, people didn't get the point of what I was trying to do there, I don't think. But it is what it is. It's a free market. People can list whatever they want. Edson swept the floor up. Awesome, man. Congrats. Anyone else needs some woodies, let me know. 
Good perspective on girls. Always get VB investing gems on this channel. Oh, awesome, man. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ryan says there's a smaller wall on Edna at 150. Okay. My collectibles says the two masters chatting. What's up, my collectibles? How you doing, man? I know you were in here. I you could have jumped in. Sorry, guys. I got people messaging me. VV Las Vegas says, cheers to the VV community. Yes, sir. Cheers to everyone. Leonidas says, anyone here that honestly lost faith in VV collectibles? Ah, not me. I'm super confident in it. Nothing's changed as far as the company, guys, that I can tell. I mean, other than things in the positive. <laughs> Tino just went down as a living legend in your book. There you go. Uh, Dino said, thanks for having me. Dino, you're always welcome here, brother. You know that. All right. Where was I at? Looks like catching up with the chat pretty well. Let's see. Uh, King Khan says, what would you do with 750 gems right now? Um, Donald and Duck gold moments. If you can get a Donald and, Duck, Donald and Daisy gold moments for 750, I think if you're looking to hold long term, I think that's a great, great, um, great buy. Uh, some people are something else. Uh, Sugar Shane says that's a new Willy, uh, a Woody. You really will sell one. Oh man, what are you looking to sell them for, Edson? Are you looking to get uh, cash for them? I might buy one from you for cash if you're looking to get cash. Of course, I'm not going to pay retail. All right, Martine, got your uh, uh, got your. Hey, Martine, send me your uh, send me your code so I can get that sent over to you. Your QR code. What am I trying to do? <laughs> My mind just went blank. <laughs> All right. He's going to send me his code, and I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And Martin says he just won the members only contest. Just found the channel today. Oh man, thank you for being here. I appreciate that. R2 prices are scaring you. Come on, man. What's R2 doing? Let's check him out. Don't get scared. R2's at 46.49. He's still okay. He um on the first of the year, he was sitting at 1800 and now he's sitting at 46.49. And that's scaring you. <laughs> I don't understand that logic, man. I don't understand it. I mean, this is any other investment on the planet where you're up uh three times your initial, you know, three times your investment in less than three months is just an amazing uptrend. And not only that, he's got less sellers now than he's almost less sellers than he's ever had. You know, he did get all the way down to 37. Now he's sitting at 40. I think he looks great. I think this is an awesome chart. Um, all right, I got your I got your code, Martine. Let me get this sent over to you. Oops. Didn't mean to show that to everybody, but it is what it is. Uh, let me go ahead and get this sent. All right.
right, Martine, or Martin, Martin, Martine, whatever your name is. Confirm. Go get the code. Twenty-one ninety. Yep, oh, wrong number. Twenty-three ninety-seven eighty-one. All right, Martin. It has been sent, buddy. Thank you so much for participating. I really appreciate it. Uh, Hamon <laughs> says, "Hey, Rob, sell FA Joker and FA Harley Quinn for more gold moments." I would, but. That's just my opinion. Um, I personally would, yes, but uh, not financial advice. But yeah, I definitely would do that. Sugar Shane says they would dip again, but when will that be? What's the next big drop? I know VV isn't stopping. Yeah, yeah, everything's going to dip again, guys. It's, we're going to be in a perpetual stage of things dipping. <laughs> it's just what way it's going to happen because they're not going to slow down with drops at all. MK says you're still the hardest working VV commentator. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Sugar Sainz, you lucky got a Woody from Edson. <laughs> Clint says, Rob, I was talking VV in my card shop. One of the regulars was in early and didn't know he was sitting on a bunch of Grail comics. He put in 100 bucks and is sitting on a 2K Grail portfolio. That's crazy. That is awesome, man. Congratulations to him. Yeah, that's uh, I know Dino uh, has a friend or relative or something that got on early and got the secret rare Spider Man and didn't know what he had and uh, he didn't have any idea it was worth what it was worth. So it's pretty crazy. Clint says card shop is also getting into VV. Awesome, man. That's great. Edson says, Rob, I'll send you a message. Oh, cool, man. Where are you sending me a message at? Yeah, hit me up, Edson. We'll 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 talk some business. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, all right, guys. I think I'm pretty much done with the chat right now. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'm going to be getting out of here pretty soon. Um, I tell you what, who in here would want to talk Amazon? Uh, if I would just end this stream right now and talk Amazon for maybe an hour, would, would anybody be interested in that that's in here right now? Because uh, I know we had some people in here who were interested earlier. And I wouldn't mind doing my, like my, you know, restart another stream and just do another hour of Amazon. If anybody wants to do that, ask questions or any of that stuff, uh, I'd be happy to do that for you guys if you're interested. I just know all the VV people in here aren't really interested in that. But uh, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Um, Maybe we could do that this evening because I'm kind of running out of running out of stuff to do right now. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanted to do that, we could we could do that. And uh, but I I would want it to be a um I want it to be more of just a I don't want to do I don't want to do two together. I don't want to do VV and Amazon, but I'll do an Amazon live stream if you guys want to do that. Okay, well, it looks like we have enough people that I would do it for about an hour if you guys want. I do have to leave here. Um, yeah, it would have to be right at an hour. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll do that. I'll 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 just end this right now and I'll start an Amazon stream. So if you guys want to hop on there, you're more than welcome. Uh, for those of you BB people, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you're more than welcome to come by every day. I do this every day at one, and uh, we talk BB, all things BB, lots of giveaways, a lot of special guests. Uh, thank you to Dino for stopping by. Please follow everybody that you see scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Get everyone's opinions and make your own decisions. Nothing I say here is financial advice. Thank you so much for being here, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.